Good evening, everybody. My name is Cameron, and I am playing Chrono Trigger tonight. I hope things don't sound weird. I completely skipped the mic check today, so it's all crazy from here. You may remember last time, me completely being surprised by the fact that the game all of a sudden crashed right after a major boss fight. Well, it didn't crash this time. It only took me one more try, and I was very careful about it. I didn't know whether or not it was going to crash again, so I decided to pre-record what was missed in between before I got to the next save point. So what you're seeing right now is not live gameplay right now. No, no, no. This is a pre-recording I made about 20-ish minutes ago. And so I'm going to play it, the video, and do the narration, and then we'll get back into the game so that I don't screw things up. Because I had no way of knowing whether it was going to completely crap out again or not. So, uh, here we go. Here we go. Uh, we're going to make it all as authentic as possible. So, uh, bear with me. Uh, we started with Amagus saying, Your skill with the Masamune is that great already? Please ignore my taskbar at the bottom. Then we, then we get right into it. <laughs> What's that? Oh, actually, we, we know this part from last time. We, we defeat the Amagus, we get sucked into the portal, and then... Nobody knows what happens afterwards. I know what happens afterwards, because I played it about 20 minutes ago, but you don't know what happens afterwards. It's totally new to you. It's totally new to all of us. Except for me. But that's okay. So so we'll wait a little bit. We'll wait a little bit. By the way, did y'all notice? I got a new shirt. I got it at Target. It's got a bunch of rainbow ice cream cones all over it. Incredible! I'm currently twinning with a, a good friend of mine. We bought the shirts together. Very, very cute. Very, very cute. And it's great, though, too. Uh, Target apparently sells my size. Extra small. Because I'm a very small individual. Okay, this is all new content. So we can talk about the shirt again later on. I'm very excited about this shirt. This is where the screen went black last time. The game just quit out. <clears throat> Chrono. Chrono! Chrono, are you still sleeping? Ah. Honey, you'll be late for work, says Marley to Chrono sleeping in bed. Dear me, I'd forgotten how beautiful Lean's bell sounds. Lean's bell sounds. Chrono, we can't keep asking my father for help. Something about you gotta get up and get a job. Chrono. Chrono, 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 Chrono. And then he gets woken up because it's all just a dream. I mean, this is new content. How, we wouldn't we wouldn't know that. How did he, how did he know that? Oh my god! It's like he saw into the future. Chrono awake. Isla. Yes. Isla want see Chrono go Mystic Mountain. You there? Fall down hurt. Isla carry back nut. Hut. Nut. Magus says the frog boy. Frog boy say magus. Big frog present for Isla eat. P -p Perish the thought. But what of the pale-faced man in the cape? W was he not with us? No. Only find you. Cape one more tasty? So. He has fled. He has. The magus is gone. But if the magus didn't create Lavos, then where did it come from? Lavos? You no worry now. You rest. Hurt bad. Alright. Bye, chick. Bye, chick. I just know I can move my mouse so that we don't have to look at the, uh little thing on the bottom. We can look at my other awkwardly placed mouse, which is somewhere around here. Mouse on mouse on mouse action. Anyway, and then I get together and somebody else comes into the door. Are you like? There we go. Kino okay? Chrono okay now? Something about blah blah. Find village. Fight reptiles together. Fight, 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 fight. Beat all reptiles. Reptiles best of all. Kino. What wrong? Chrono rest. You be quiet. Northwood. Fire. Burn. Big burn. The forest is on fire. And we need your help to put it out. This is the part where I go and save outside, and then the video promptly ends after the saving happens, so we don't need to worry about that anymore. Bye, forward to the past, forward to the past. Anyway, that's fine. That was me bonding up and down to the signal me that it is done. All right, and uh, let's, start, let's start this up. Let's start this up for realsies this time. As I go back to my Steam to actually boot up the game. Access the Steam community while playing. Don't mind if I don't. No thanks. I don't think this is a community game. Anyway, we all we all know the deal. It's it, oh wait, I play with this thing. Tick tock, tickety tock. 
Load game, forward to the past. Here we go. Now we're back in prehistory. 65 million BC. Many, many years before pretty much anything. Um, I, it, Marley, you cool out there? Now, I'd rather, I want to change my party out because I didn't really want Frogo here. I like, I like Robo. I like my buddy Roy. Roy's my guy. Roy's my dude. Roy is my dude. Yeah, like you. Got Healy Girl, Roy Boy, uh, Time Travel Boy. And, uh, and a lot of it. But anyway, forest is on fire. So I'm guessing it's down here. Forest maze, maybe? Forest on fire? That's what you're talking about? No? Is there another forest that's on fire? You said something about a forest on fire. Anyway, forest fires are a thing. So, like, I don't know. Listen to Smokey the Bear. Don't, don't like, set forests on fire. Okay? What if I look all the way around here? Anyway. Yeah, looking around the world map's pretty boring. You know what's not boring, though? Oh, hitting a dead end. That's incredibly not boring. But you know what's in incredibly, incredibly not boring? The fact that you may have heard me complain a lot about uh, my computer mouse. Currently, my computer mouse doesn't work super well. Uh, the right mouse button is pretty jank, which is unfortunate because that's really good. Like, You need the right mouse button to play games like Minecraft and pretty much do anything in life. Also, I have to move that out of the way, my mouse. But so, the right mouse button doesn't really work. And, oh, look at this. There's a little thing out here right now. That's cool. Laruba Ruins. Oh, this is the forest fire. And it completely took it out. That's incredible. But so, but so before I get into that, so, not all, I found a replacement mouse. It was sitting in my electronics collection. I apparently had one laying around, and I booted it up, and I connected to the computer, and I'm just like, oh my god, this, this mouse works just fine. The right mouse button is perfect. As it turns out, I have two bad mice. One has a bad right click, that's the one that says L on it, and one has a bad left click, that's the one that says R on it. The one that says R on it is the one that's supposed to be used for the right mouse button click. The one with the L on it is the one for the left mouse button click. So you would think that would mean I am now using my ball mice like, like this. I have to double-handed use my computer if I'm playing Minecraft or something. Um, not really. I just have them both on standby. I also have this other mouse that I was planning to use in between for, for both mouse buttons, but it's awkwardly shaped and I don't really like it. This is the mouse that I learned how to use a mouse on. This type of mouse, at least. And it's still around. It's Logitech. Anyway, let's get into it. So what about bad reptites? They set the forest on fire. I don't know. What you doing, dude? Reptites fellow Isla. Isla, bad luck. Really? Well, I think she's wonderful. A little scantily dressed for my taste, but wonderful. People fight. Reptites kill all. I believe it. Hey guys, are you the village chief? I thought I was the village chief because I was the strongest in all the land. Isla, this is your fault. Look at village. Reptites follow you. Now village ruins. What else are you supposed to say for yourself, Isla? You're right to do you know, you should stand up for yourself, but on the other side, like, is anybody really gonna listen to you? Isla, sorry. Yeah, be sorry. Reptites, strong, live long before us, so we hide. But Isla say fight together. Isla still say fight now. Isla alive. Isla fight. Win, live, lose, die. Live, lose, die. Love, repeat. That rule. No can change rule. Rule no change. Old man, breathe but dead inside. Jeez, you're gonna talk to your elder that way? <laughs> These kids nowadays have no respect. I love strong, so make big talk. We not strong, cause I'm old. Look at my bones, bones are frail, knees weak, the arms are spaghetti. I love strong, fight, get more strong. I love help, but now need dactyl. Give dactyl. Dactyl. You, you want a dactyl, you say? Go, Tyranno Lair, Tyranno Lair, Reptite Castle, Danger, even Isla Danger. Isla won't die. Isla can get die, make fresh die, six sided, sometimes twenty. Die for all die purposes. Never more than thirty side though. Need too much technology. No. Want live? So go. Isla be okay. Give dactyl. Yes. Give Dactyl. Elder tell Keeper. 
So go. Duck down nest. I'll be careful. Elder, big help. Yeah. Yay. Thanks, old man. Old man, thank. Die, love, suffer, die, whatever, repeat. So I guess I'll go find Isla again, maybe at the beating grounds. You over here, Isla? Somebody got a dactyl? Anybody got a dactyl? Anybody got a dactyl wings? Fly, my friends, fly. Where the hell did she go? Was it in the forest? I feel like I should have known where she went, and I don't. Chifa? Well, she's certainly not over here. Maybe she's elsewhere. Oh, I forgot to move my mouse off the screen again. Something I tend to do. So, like... Alright, actually, let me go ask the Elder. Where the hell did she go? I'm about to go run around all over the prehistoric creation not knowing where the hell I'm supposed to be going. You tell me. You take care, Isla. Where'd she go? Tell me where the woman went! I will find her. I will make her my own. My own tribes member, because I am the chief. I am the chief. I can drink the most, Chrono. Chrono can drink the most. Therefore, must be good. But she said she'd be at the dactyl nest. Is that over here? Oh. <laughs> Look at that, it's the dactyl nest. <laughs> no, big giant monkey thing. Big giant monkey, monkey, monkey thing. And rocks. I will not mess with you. If we don't, if you don't touch me, I won't touch you. Don't touch me, I won't touch you. Yeah. No! Stupid big thing. Big old monkey thing. Why monkey thing gotta do shit like that? I don't like monkey dude. Get out of here, monkey dude. But that was pretty cool. I had gotten my new shirt over the course of the day or two. That was really, really fun. What else did I do? I realized my mice are all, all kinds of fucked up. I need, I'm in the market for a new mouse. I'm in the market for a ball mouse that's kind of shaped like this, but isn't Logitech and isn't as shitty whose buttons don't just decide to randomly malfunction after a while. It'd be really, really nice if I had a mouse like that. I mean, I you know, I could just get like a regular scroll mouse, the one that you're supposed to move around, but like, there's something about the beauty. There's something about not having to move my hand at all to do pretty much anything. Like the ball, the only thing that moves is my thumb. I like that. It's the convenience factor of it all. Also, you may have noticed, like I said, I have two mice on there. One mouse, two mouse, two mouse, one mouse. They both control the cursor. It's, lo it's lovely. It's absolutely lovely. It offers absolutely no benefit. Actually, this reminds me of a time uh, my younger brother told me about a prank he'd play on his friends in computer class one time where you'd take one of these mice like this, which has a wireless USB dongle. Yeah, did you know that? The uh, little USB piece that plugs in from a wireless device is called the dongle. Like, uh, like, um... This thing. Dongle. Little dongle. Dongle plugs in a computer. Computer do things. Oh. Computer has to lag when I plug in the dongle. There we go. That was interesting. But so he would... What he would do is he would take the dongle of the mouse. I don't know if I touch you guys. Probably. I, we would take the dongle of the mouse. And he would... um He would plug it into some random dude's computer. And then, uh, you know, naturally will wind up happening is uh, everybody would have they, all of a sudden the mouse would start moving like phantom like and he'd be in the back of the class and just kind of moving the moving the mouse around and whatnot and be like professor or teacher come over here my my mouse seems to be moving and the teacher just like what are you high or something the mouse isn't moving what are you talking about the mouse can't move on its own you must be touching your mouse and then he'd go away and the mouse would start moving sporadically again the teacher would come back and that was a good time I imagine. I was not in that class. I was never such a mischievous child like that. Instead, my form of fun was done in the courses of uh, various different social tactics and social settings. Attempted to get it in with the it crowd, which uh, I, I like to say that it used different aspects of my personality, probably with some sort of social manipulation, but I did it for the sake of acceptance. I just want to be wanted to be heard, accepted by everybody. Freaking rock. Blocking my way. All I wanted was acceptance. And obviously, the way the way to get accepted is to is to change who you are. 
depending on who you're with. Because some personalities gel well and others do not. That was the mindset at the time. Just, uh, just be yourself. It works. Maybe you'll discover that, indeed, you just kind of gel well with different people in certain ways. I often find myself talking about different, depending on who I'm with, the topic of conversation will shift to something that is like, like obviously, I know, like, I'm not going to talk to my friend who loves Magic the Gathering about Disney, and I won't talk to my friend who hates Disney with a passion with, about Disney as well. Like, if I know they hate something, I'm not going to wind up stirring the topic to that unless that's something that needs to be talked about like a uh, man i hate cleaning my apartment but your apartment is disgusting and there's, there's gunk everywhere and everything's nasty in which case i will have a very stern talking with that friend about how dirty their apartment is but like i don't like being told that my apartment is dirty well maybe you're being told that your apartment is dirty because your apartment is a freaking mess which i would imagine is the case oftentimes for some people Gotta get him. Get the little thing. Is that a dactyl? I think that's the dactyl. Is that the dactyl? Do we fly on one of those? That thing can lift our weights? No, there must be something better. There must be something more. <laughs> Excuse me. There must be something more than what meets the eye. <laughs> Isla, go forth, get dactyl. There's a little star in the distance. I like that star in the distance. Oh, that's a dactyl. It kind of looks like... Pterodactyl, but in like anime form, I guess. By the way, my first drink of the evening. It's been a couple of, uh, the other day, uh, actually yesterday, I had a very good friend of mine over. Every once in a while, she comes over for a little cocktail celebration and whatnot. And she had brought over a lovely, lovely rye whiskey. Uh, I don't exactly remember what the brand of it was, but we had a little couple of whiskey cocktails. And uh, I'll, uh, I'll get back to what I'm drinking here in a bit. I'm, uh, I'm, back, I'm back in the mood for a libation, so. Chrono. Chrono? No, the Chrono. No, 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 no. You better not even think about going without us. Oh, we would, we would never. No, Tyranno Lanner, danger. You know come, maybe all die. What is that animation of hers? Just like, I don't know what's going on in your head over there, Allah. If it's that dangerous, we definitely can't let you go alone. You've done a lot for us, Isla. Now it's payback time. Right, Krona? I nod in agreement. Isla have good friend. Come on, Isla. Let's go to the Tyrannal Lair. All right, let's go to the Tyrannal Lair. Let's do it. Let's go to the Tyrannal Lair with the power of the Dactyl. I wonder if I look, unlock the ability to use the Dactyl now. Oh, we're gonna take you with us. Fine. I'll allow it. It can only be three of us. Damn you, Isla, for doing things. Why you gotta do me like that, Isla? Cutscene time. Oh. I love how the dactyls seem like they're making monkey sounds. Or maybe we're the monkeys. Yeah, get on up. Oh, they're cute. The dactyls are so cute. Let them go. Oh. That reminds me, another, uh, another, uh, another pal of mine. Another, another acquaintance of another, another friend of mine. Girlfriend of another gal pal of mine does, like, a lot of work on, like, dinosaur toys. Like, you may, you may not already realize this, but, like, a lot of toys out there, especially for things from a prehistoric era, are not very historically accurate. Like, at all. They're just, they're just bad. Like, the, the, the proportions are all wrong, and the colors are all different. And don't get me wrong, like, I guess it takes a bit, because you kind of got to know... Like, there's a lot of fossil stuff that goes into that. Oh my god, is this the Tyranno lair? Is this, is this the lair of the Tyranno? Can I get off? Can I get off this thing? Oh, I can go down like that. Is this the Tyranno lair? Uh, no. Oh, I see. I see. I can do that. Okay. But so, like, so what she does is she takes the toys that are out of... that they, They're not correct looking or they're just not, they're just not nice looking. And completely, in some cases, completely remolds them. Like, puts, like, clay and stuff on them and completely repaints them. It's such it's such meticulous work. And it's really something that you gotta admire. I'm not really a miniature type person. I'm not really... I'm not the kind of guy who gets a bunch of miniatures, whether it's really for D&D &D or for toy's sake or whatever it may be. But I do like I do like to paint things. But I've never painted something that small. Or like, uh, like Host Lore, I know, does Warhammer miniatures and paints them, like, really, really well looking. 
And so I think he actually did a stream of that one time. It was pretty cool to pop in on. It's nice to see those meticulous hands at work. But, uh, yeah. And it's a really cool thing. I feel like this is where I need to be. Is this, this where I need to be? Can I, can I go down? Can I, can, I can go down. Is that not the lair of Tyranno? I need to go to the Tyranno lair. I guess I'll go back on here and just see where else I can land. Can I land in a volcano? Burn me up, sure. Burn me up real good. Maybe this is where I need to be in the middle. No, this is, I don't think that was it. But I'm gonna go in here anyway. Tyranno lair? No, that's the reptile lair. I need to go to the Tyranno lair. Where might the Tyranno lair be? Where, 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 where? What is an area that I don't already have access to? I started down here. Go over there. Burn down to the forest. Uh, check down here. It wasn't over here. Couldn't get into this forest, but that's the reptile lair. And I was already in the reptile lair, I believe. This feels pretty... I mean, this this feels very... Tyranno-y. Tyranno lair! That's what I thought it was! Why are you throwing me like that? I'm safe first from the outside. Give me a safe. Give me the save, boys, and free the dinos. We're gonna get lost in the prehistoric times and set things on fire. Hey, pal. Hey, whoa, you should, you were going for it. Look at you go, trying to get all up in my grill. I'll allow it. Look at that little reptite die guy there. I don't have the right combo attacks. Uh, drill kick? Nah, no, that ain't, that ain't cool. That ain't chill. Whirl about enemies, strike the other two. Oh, I'll cyclone it. That's fine. Ah, I should have done the guy in the middle. That would have been wonderful. Probably take care of him, right? Don't throw things. You're gonna throw them at me. You little bitch. I'll show you. Um, maybe others should start attacking. Others should start attacking, perhaps, for chance. Gotta, let me do that. Ice sword on the, I don't know. Just, just attack him. I don't know. You just, you just do your, you just do your thing. Do your thing. Fight the monkeys. Humans all jank or whatever. Return to monk. Well, this music is really giving me. I feel like I've definitely heard this one before. I've mentioned before that there are a lot of games that I wind up playing that I've heard music like on Spotify for. I don't think I've ever heard Chrono Trigger music on Spotify. I, I might have actually. It's probably popped pop up a couple of times. Um, or you know what? It probably definitely did. Probably definitely did. Because I know what the album cover looks like. Therefore, I must have seen it on Spotify or something like that. Otherwise, how else would I know? I don't know. I've never actually... Uh, I, don't, I don't have, like, an album cover for Chrono Trigger. Like, I, I'm only familiar with the game now. I've only started playing it a little while ago. Oh, I can't get over there. But I can go up. Can I also go down? Down? No, up. Hey, look! A bunch of imprisoned... Hey, guys. Hey, could you, like, let my friends out over there? No, we'll never let your friends out. Why would I let your friends out? That's just... That's, it's totally counterintuitive for us to do. Like, we're trying to trap you all and kill you all and, and like, diminish all your motivation and stuff. And, oh, you just keep my friend over there. What's the wrong with you? Anyway, we're not releasing. And what was that about not releasing my friends? 65 million BC, and these guys already have all this... Like, lever technology? Wait, wait, come back! I want to talk to you! Wait, come back! Tell me about your loincloths! I want to know how they... If they're comfortable. I'm a man from the year 2021. I do not know the glory of loincloths. Will you share with me the glory of loincloths? That was a loincloth. Why would we tell you about loincloths? Those things are fucking disgusting. Those are what those weird-ass humans wear. We wear clothes around here. We cover up most of our body. We're humble. We are humble, humble reptites. Therefore, why the hell would we want our ankles, like, gyrating about everywhere? That's just disgusting. Do you know how sexual that is? There are children that walk these halls. Thank you for that tidbit of information there, reptite, sir. And also, sir. Or perhaps, ma'am. I can't tell. The pixelated features don't help determining pronouns. We're about to have a feast! And you're about to be the roast beast! <laughs> Um, excuse me, guys. Um, are, are my friends in there? Because uh, if my friends are in there, I'd like, I'd like to take them out for a little bit. No! No! It's the apes! So we should fight the apes, right? Fight fight apes? Apes fight good? Apes fight very good. Like what? It takes like... It takes, it takes three hits for each one? It takes three hits for each one. That'll take a couple of turns. I don't know. 
I don't need to worry about all the tech tactics and stuff like that. Hey, but you guys listen to our conversation over there? Yeah, something about eating people or like that. No, 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 we don't, we don't eat people. We eat lower life forms like humans. <laughs> humans, am I right, guys? I got something to say about that. Hello, you. Oh, you, uh, uh Ki, Kita, Ki, Kio, whatever. The, the, you, you have a name. You have a name whose name escapes me. I don't know what your name is. Can I please click the button? Button, please? Button, please? Click button. Click button on the... Let me, oh, okay. So instead of pressing the button, like, before I had to press the door. Kino. Uh. Kino, move back. Isla, save Kino. Whack, 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 whack. Why don't you pull the lever, Kronk? Just, just pull the lever, dude. Are you gonna, you gonna climb on up? Climb on up and over? You're telling me... Uh, are you? Alright. But you can't do that? Wait, so no, no, wait, wait. If Isla can do that from this side, you, Kino can't do it from the other side? They're ribs! What did you not think of that? It's tiny little monkey brains. Kino, sorry. All Kino's fault. It okay. Kino, take all La Ruba person. Run. What Isla do? Strong live, weak die. Isla, go be strong. Be the strongest, Isla. Kino go too. Do Kino go? Kino no come. Isla die. Kino new Yoka chief. So, so like, who wants to be chief? Oh, I just can't wait to be chief. Or, um, or now what? You just gonna break open the door? All right. That, that makes sense. So I guess it's only... So so you're telling me it was more easy to open by force inside than outside. You got that right? Ah, well, it is 65 million BC, so I'm not exactly surprised there. Isla Strong. No lose. All right. Kino, no. Kino, show you something. Follow Kino. Excuse me. Are you going to show me your loincloth collection? I've been meaning to look at the culture a little bit more closely. I've heard loincloths are like in these days. <laughs> anyway, you don't seem like you have a... You kind of got like a, like a... Like a toga thing going on there. I appreciate that. Oh, you're just going to open the... <sighs> you strong. Kino weak. Kino jealous. But Kino can open up big skull over here. Oh, look difficult to you? <laughs> weak. Alrighty then. Thanks, Kino. But I guess we're, uh, guess we're going. Guess we're going. You know what I'm gonna do? Just, just cause, cause I'm a little worried? Just save. Just save when I get to the outside. When I wanna lose progress. Ever since that, the game crashing the other day, I'm just like, I guess you should save all the time. God, no, not the monkey men! Not the monkey men. I will not allow the monkey men to get me. The monkey men have no place here. I won't allow it. I can use up all these pushons. So many potions. Potion seller. Tell me what kind of potions you have. I mean, we only got the regular potions and the bigger potions. Like, oh, hi there. You look like you, you, you look like you wanna, you wanna fight? You wanna fight me? You wanna fight me? You're just gonna stand there? Were you waiting for the show to start or something? Engage in combat. I guess I can fight the both of them individually. Uh, you are gonna go with your lightning ability. Oh, all enemies with lightning is lightning too. I did not realize that. Well, I certainly don't need that much. Kid, give him a kiss, Isla. Oh, I wanna hit that guy. Uh, you know what, actually, I guess I wanna hit that guy. Go for it. And then you can like, hit him with your crossbow. Do shit like that. Oh, I forgot to mention. What I'm drinking this evening to start things off with is a Kentucky bourbon a barrel aged ale which is an ale that's been aged in kentucky bourbon barrels the barrels themselves are kentucky bourbon barrels because the kentucky bourbon barrels hold kentucky bourbon which is not the only kind of bourbon i don't remember who i was having that conversation with the other day but somebody was like bourbon only comes from kentucky no only kentucky bourbon comes from kentucky unless it's kentucky bourbon produced and sold in another country in which case there really are no laws telling them that they don't they have to call them it has to be made in a place called kentucky it's kind of like like why over in here in the americas we don't mm, we can sell champagne we can grow wine that is champagne because we're not under the same wine restriction laws as france as france's 
Like, France is not gonna look, France ain't gonna look at me calling my product champagne and be like, uh-uh-uh, uh-uh, you can't, can't call it champagne, that's not champagne. We're gonna sue you for that. They, they can't do that, because this isn't their country. So we can do whatever we want to. Granted, if I were producing my own champagne, I would probably just call it how it is. Like, a Chardonnay or something like that. Because, you know, I feel like that transparent, like, like, Champagne tells me nothing about the drink. I don't exactly know what grapes are. I know what grapes are. Oh, that's a. Oh, I could have just clicked that button. Seriously? I could have just clicked the button? Incredible. Anyway. But, like, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know that. I just call it how it is. Absolute transparency. Oh, am I supposed to go down here? I'm gonna go down. I can't go down. Was that really it? Was I just supposed to defeat them monsters? Oh, all right. I'm. I'm a like confused now. So so like do I go back? I'm over here now. I can't Oh, there was a little uh, okay, I see. See, this is confusing. This has happened to me multiple times. There's an entrance to the right of my character. You wouldn't know it, because it doesn't look like there's a door there. There's just a tiny little like bump in the wall. A little divot in the wall. It's difficult for me to see. It's rather difficult. For me to see. I, I will admit that. Oh, look at it. A big old crater guy coming out from the middle thing I'm about. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do about it? I was strong. We kill enemy. A Vulcanite. I'm filling my waters with Vulcanicity. Eh? I'll just, I'll just cyclone him. Cyclone him all. How much does uh, water damage do to y'all? I feel like you're weak to. You are most definitely weak to water. All right. Probably not weak to swirl. Not weak to swirl? I wouldn't be a Ricky Swirl either. It's hip to boo swirl. Anyway, we obtained the feather. We get we got it. And Molly has learned ice too. There's more? I just came from there. It's a Google button. Why? I don't. I don't understand. Lightning. All of you. All you get lightning. Z Zippy zap zoo. Get it. Get it. Anybody you know ever been struck by lightning? If so, I have questions. I am curious. How did it feel? Did you remember? Was it more deafening than it was painful? I'm very curious. Did you go to the hospital? Were you okay? Do you have superpowers now? I am very very curious. All I know about lightning striking things is that fulgurite is a thing. Fulgurite is a mineral that a, uh, that, a, that that occurs when lightning strikes sand. Because, like, sand is just silicon, and a lot of crystals are just silicon. Or silica, silicates, silicites, or whatever. Oh, I can crack open an egg. Uh oh. Well, that's cool. I crack open the egg wrongly, but I can go down here. Alrighty then. But it's mostly just silicates. So when the lightning strikes it, it gets hot enough to form a new mineral in the sand called fulgurite. And it looks really cool. Like, if you've ever seen, um, a Lichtenstein, Lichten, Lichtenstein, Lichtenstein figure, it's like where you, where you take a piece of wood and you attach, like, high voltage on either end of it. And, like, the way that the, the way that the thing the electricity, the current runs through it, makes a really cool uh, Lichtenstein pattern or whatever, because because uh, fractals and electricity and all that stuff. Anyway, it's awesome, and I think it's incredibly cool. But um, that's Lichtenstein. So like when the fulgurite gets hits the ground, it goes out in that way because the the electricity is trying to find a ground, and ground is down. It's the Earth. The Earth is ground. So it tries to spread out to the area of least resistance, which is kind of everything. So the subtle differences, the subtle changes between the individual grains of sand is what determines what that path will be. And Fulgurite is really, really cool looking, I think. I think it's very, very cool looking. I wonder if it's in my, uh, my, uh, my, miner my minerals book, my books and minerals book. I got a couple of them, actually. I mentioned, I mentioned previously that, like, there is a, um, there was a book that I got a long time ago from, like, this random person at a thrift store or whatever, and she's like, oh, you should buy my book. Gems are wonderful for healing and stuff. At the time, I really didn't believe much in it, but I thought it was really, really interesting. And nowadays, I'm like, I mean, I can't, like, deny it. I don't, you know, like, rocks are just 
if you think about it, quantum physics is all just waves. So if the waves all come up together in a really, really cool way, then I don't know, maybe you get rocks that interact with your waves in a certain way. I don't really know. It's like a pseudoscience, but pseudoscience to me is just a, it's something that we haven't disproven. And it's nothing that we've proven. So it's just kind of in the air. Different, you know, different crystal structures and stuff like that. I don't really know. But I wonder if in one of those books that I have, it mentions Fulbright. I obtained a high potion. I'm gonna heal my party. My party needs a healing. So I'll use some potions on them. Now I'm out of potions. God, I need some potions. Eat a potion. Oh, not the ether. Damn it. Those are hard to come by. Damn, I gave him an ether when I'm gonna give him the potion. Yeah. I need to thank you for coming to my show. Thank you all for coming to my show as well. Oh, and you, Flyboy. Why wouldn't I not surprise? Of course you came. Of course you came. I'm glad you came. Defense has been lowered by static shock. Neighborhood superhero, Static Shock, who hits you with the electricities and stuff. I have got to watch through Static Shock. Yeah, I wonder if the many different streaming services that I have available to me has Static Shock on it. And if it does, I will watch it, and I will be very happy with it. I really enjoyed Static Shock when I was younger. And it was, it's one of those, like, that's one of those shows that kind of, like, it tackled a really, like, difficult topic for a kid's show. And I personally appreciate it at the time. I feel like I take even more inspiration from it now that I'm older and realize that the such problems still exist in the world today. I'm just going to walk past you guys. How's that? All right, fine. Cool, cool. Oh, dear. What just... Oh! Hello, everybody. You, uh, you come for the party? I came for the party. I came for the party. The party. No, not the party. I don't need to urinate. The party! You're going to make fun of my accent, though, dare you? How dare you make fun of that? Vulcanite, get out of here. Filling your waters with vulcanicity. Cat attack! Savagely claw an enemy. Is that why you have the tail? Are you cat-like? Are you panther? Isla is panther. Me go rush. Me make sweet love to Chrono later in cat-like fashion. Chrono's just like... What? Wait, wait, I didn't, I didn't agree to this. I didn't agree to this. It's, there's perks to being the chief, you know. It pays to be big bitch on the block. And and some of the payment is in sexual favors, apparently. Unsolicited sexual favors. Hmm. I wonder if the, the concept of um get away from me, creep, exists in 65 million BC. Am curious. Are you just tearing my characters a new one, aren't you, Pterosaur? Whatever sore. It, you need magic. I need to hit you with magic, which I'm currently not doing. Chrono is dead. That's fine. Chrono's, Chrono's a little dead. He, he's only a little dead. Am I on like... Why are we... Wait a minute. What's... No, not auto. Not auto. Not auto at all. Why are you killing? No, stop! Why would you do that? Oh, wait a minute. I can bring you back to life. Nope, you killed her. How did the... I don't know what just happened. I was not paying it. I was not paying attention. I'll get back to it. I'll get back to it. We will recover from this. I, we will all recover from this. I think this is something that I think we can all recover from this. That's okay. That's okay. Let's just all take a deep breath and then let it out. Take a deep breath, let it out. You know what I need? I need something like that. I think what I need is a is a uh, a channel point redemption for breathe. Like, breathe, god damn you! And it just puts a little animation up on the screen. And once it does that, it puts a little, like, you know, like the Wii Fit? The Wii Fit breathing thing where the circle goes out, and then it comes in, and then it goes out, and then it comes in. Like, that type of, that type of thing shows up on the screen. And everything kind of gets, like, the underwater sound effect starts going, and I'm just like... Oh. So that's what I need. That's what I think this world needs a little bit. Cat attack. Get him. Get the pterosaur. Get the get the little bit in the pterosaur. Reptite. Big ol' reptite. And not the not the reptite, the pterosaur. That's a lot of damage. That's not as much damage. We need more damage. We gotta have some big old damage in here. 
I need more damage. Oh, there's some lightning. Get some lightning in there. Yeah! Get some lightning in there! Hello! Good evening to you, Astro, and how are you this fine and wonderful evening? We're taking it back, way back, and back to old jokes that have been old been a long, long time. How's the turn-based Dragon Ball game going? It's turn-based Dragon Ball, I love it. Mr. Akira Toriyama did very well with these characters. Uh, I believe I believe he did work on this. I do believe he did work on the character designs for these characters. Character designs for these characters. Yeah. A <laughs> little bit of a What's the what's the term when you say one thing that means one thing and then another one right after that means basically the same thing? Or, or rather the opposite. What is it? Oxymoron is like big small. Like that's an oxymoron because like you can't be big small. You can be. I am small. But my personality is large. At least that's what my parents tell me. And I like that. I like the encouragement from my parents. Thank you, Mom and Dad. You've, you've raised me with a good sense of confidence. And for that, I don't think I'll ever repay you. But you know what? I'll, I'll work on I'll work on the payment. I'll, I'll work on repaying you in this way. How about I start paying my phone bill? Just kidding. I already pay my phone bill. I'm doing enough for that. I gotta go around. Oh, there's a certain way I'm supposed to go. Can I hit this button and something happens? <laughs> Athenian water. <laughs> Little loss with that one. I confuse myself sometimes too, so I'm. A, I'll take that. Lurking time is here again. I know I'm supposed to go up those stairs, but like there are so many other items over here. There might be something fun, like like if I go down here and then go up, I can. No, how am I supposed to get up to that? How? Uh, maybe there's something above. There's probably something above to be able to drop down. Maybe. I'm feeling that. Can I go out? Hello, everybody! There's nothing out here. That's locked. Can I go over there? Nope. Oh, hello there, Terra, whatever. Mm. Mm. I don't like that. I don't like you, big ol' big ol'. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, let's see. Lightning does a thing on that. Defense lowered by the electric shock! Let's give... Uh, oh. No, I didn't want to do that. Wait a minute. What'd you do? Oh, we did Aura Swirl by accident. That was not what I had intended to do there. But that's fine. Cat attack. Get him. Get him. And then, like, you go after this guy. Oh, that really wasn't a lot. I know it lowered your defense, but it really didn't do much of that. Let's ice two. It attacks all enemies with ice. Ex and, and not just one. That's a lovely, lovely thing. That's a lovely, lovely do. A lovely, lovely do. I enjoy that. Do, 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 do. Very, very classic, very classic battle theme. I should now what I should do is I should go find epic remixes of this song, right? And then get really, really into it and thank the creator implicitly. Be like, you were, your music is so good. Shake your hand. Like, can I shake your hand? Your music is so good. Oh, I bet. I bet if I go here, I'll fall, right? Oh, an enemy. Two enemies. One of them's significantly less a trouble than the other one. You suck. So, like, Savage Claw versus Jump Kick? Does jump kick work on something? Like, I don't understand the difference between those attacks from like a from like a st like a stat point of view. Like, okay, one uses your fist and one uses your kick, but like, which one does more damage? That's uh, kind of what I that's what I'm, I'm curious about. I don't even know something about that. Let's cleave you. Can I cleave you in two? Does that work when your defense is lowered? How much? Five hundo. Damn. <laughs> Bam. That's a pretty powerful move. All right, I guess we'll continue forward. I mean, no problem fighting a couple of enemies. Fighting a couple of enemies is good. I get to increase my power abilities. I get to. I get to be more strong, scrung than before. I'll be the big scrungus. Only the largest of scrungs. Okay, so I click the lever. Pull the lever, crunk. Actually, the Yzma says that, so like, pull the lever, crunk. That's the best I got. Anyway, so I guess the door probably opened outside, right? <laughs> Welcome back to the party! We didn't like you the first time, but goddamn you're back, so I guess we're not getting rid of you that easily. Let's see, you can do ice on dead guy over there, and I don't know. Jump kick 
versus Savagely Claw. Savagely Claw sounds a hell of a lot more, like, intimidating than Jump Kick, although I have been Jump Kicked before by my cousin. She's a feisty one, and it hurt. And to be perfectly honest, I definitely did not deserve the Jump Kick. I don't know why I got Jump Kicked that day. We were hanging at, um... It was like bridge, uh, like a, a sports complex type thing. Like a, it's a, just a place where they got a bunch of games for kids and stuff. Like a bunch of, bunch of arcade games that you get like get, get like raffle tickets for, and you trade them in for prizes and stuff like that. Except the whole complex like that. And uh, they also had like laser tag. I'm pretty sure they also had laser tag. I just remembered laser tag used to be like huge for my friends and I. Like everybody would have their birthday party at the the sports complex to play laser tag. I remember that. And that was always so fun! Oh my god, I was always sucked at laser tag. I never did a lot of damage, but I was always the most accurate. Everybody else is like, because like everybody's trigger happy, and I was just like, I gotta aim, shoot to kill. I also just liked being able to scream in an environment that there were already a bunch of, there was a, the music was glaring, everything was in UV lights and stuff, and we'd be you know, sneaking up on our friends and giving them a, a bap bap and a, with the laser. And I like that, and be able to hide and stuff like that. And there were like rules where like, you know, you're not supposed to spawn kill or different types of, yeah, I think the whole point of the game was you want to kill as many enemies as possible and also like capture the flag. Look at this guy over here. Look at you, my friend. You're not gonna let me pass, are you? You're not allowed to pass until you can get past these sick muscles. All right, I see that. And I'll raise you a nah. Looking for us all? She's just through here. I I am. I I am. I'm. Oh, so I just walk right past you. Oh. Okay. okay. That that's it. We're just we're not gonna fight or anything. Oh, alrighty then. That's fine with me. I guess. I mean, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna argue with you. Like, yeah. That's, that's fine. We don't have to fight. We we don't gotta fight. We don't gotta cry. We don't have to cry. Stop Stop crying. Stop crying, big buff dinosaur man. It's okay. Unnatural selection. <laughs> Where have I heard that one before? Are you you're finally... Now that you have a good enough opportunity to look at my muscles, let's get this party started. Hold it. When I said she's through here, I meant you gotta get through me first. What do you say I was flexing my muscles and looking all intimidating for? Just so you could walk past me? Just so you could talk... Sweet little nothings behind my back. Oh my god, his muscles are so freaking attractive. Oh my god, I wonder if he'd date me. He's so out of my league. That's totally not what you were supposed to do. You're supposed to fight me. Man to man. Prehistoric lady to prehistoric lady. Futuristic lady, very pretty princessy. To futuristic lady, very pretty princessy. I am all those qualities. Did you not see these muscles? I am all of those qualities. Anyway, time to fuck up your shit. And the battle done beginneth with a big old muscly man. Now, I know a thing or two about muscly men. They don't like electricity. They also don't like counterattacks. Counterattack! Counterattack! Is your defense going down? Defense has been lowered by the electric shock. That's lovely. You know what else would be cool? Um, if I ice sword ya. It's like a regular sword, but it's also with ice. It'd be nice though if I had the opportunity, like a lightning, a lightning sword. I wonder, I could probably do that with, um, Roy the Robot, though. <laughs> Excuse me. Defense has been boosted! When attacked? Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. So you're taking even less damage. Than yeah, I get that. Um, let's, uh, lightning. I'll turn, slow your lightning back down and... Oh, Thunder Chop is a thing. What is Thunder Chop? Delivered electric blow to... Oh. That makes sense that I can use Thunder Chop with Isla because Isla is like the prehistoric woman here so she knows all about prehistoric uh, things like lightning and stuff. That's pretty cool. Oh no, Chrono uses the electric ability on her who she doesn't have power yet. She doesn't have um uh she doesn't have magic yet. But I'm guessing I'm going to guess she's fire. Oh, you are both incredibly dead. Let's fix that. Let's fix that. I like it when we're not on the floor gasping for breath clenching onto the strings that hold us dear and mortal. You've almost killed my Chrono. My Chrono, he is dying. My Chrono is dying. You've killed us both, haven't you? Nope, you have not. That's okay. 
I'm okay with that. Please heal yourself. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> do it again. Do it again. You want to do it again? Oh my god, why did you run in there like that? Do it again. <laughs> do it again. <laughs> Incredible. And uh, uh, Marley could be. If I had my healer, this would be a lot easier. I know Isla can use her keys. She can use her keys ability. But I think what Chrono needs to do right now. You gotta, you gotta lightning. You gotta lightning, and then you have to use the Athenian waters on Marley, so that Marley can come up, heal herself, and then I don't know, I'll do something else really. Defend yourself. Don't. Why? Why would you do this? Let's just, let's just aura whirl. Aura was good before you kill somebody else. Nope, you're gonna, you're gonna kill him again. Oh, Marley. Marley. Get up, Marley. Don't be intimidated by his muscles. You don't need it. You don't need it. You're better than this. Oh, please. Oh, just don't. Just whatever you do, just don't. Use the aura whirl so we can hear everybody have a little bit. That's a very, very nice thing. And we just heal alive. The idea of being alive sounds very favorable right about now. Stop. Enough. Any water on you. You can you can cure yourself actually. You need to be healed so you can heal everybody else. No, stop. Why? Okay, no, you're still alive. You're gonna heal. And then and then and then Isla's gonna heal as well. Chrono's going with it. You know, those counterattacks are surprisingly effective. Oh, and you're just dead all of a sudden. No, you're not dead. You're not dead yet. I can tell. But you are about to be dead in a moment. So you are gonna use an item to bring you back, and then you're gonna use your cure to also bring you back. In a moment, in a moment, in a moment, in a moment, in a moment. There we go. And then Chrono needs to... Chrono, you gotta take care of yourself, my bro. You gotta put a little more love in that body of yours. You need to put as much love into your body as me, the Tyrannosaurus Maximus, does. Every day. Protein. All the time. Nothing but protein. Um, so kill... Oh, you're gonna get him. Is that gonna kill him? I, do, I hope it won't. And then we'll just, we'll just continue. And then... Thunder Chomp. You cure it. Yeah! It's all wonderful now. You can take that and run with it. Thank you, Marley. You can take that. You can take that a little bit more. I'll let you have it. Wow, that was incredibly powerful. I am going to use that attack again. T do it again. That was awesome. And you can heal yourself, Marley. You're looking a little down over there, so... uh. Baby, are you down, 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 down? You are exploding. Your muscles can't save you. Ma, looks like my muscles could only hide my weaknesses for so long. So long. Except that last so long is like so long. So long, dear Bowser. That was always a good one. They took that out of the DS version of Super Mario 64. Cause like, cause like in the original, I think it's so long, a Bowser. Like a Bowser. He's a he's a Bowser. He's a he's one who bounces. And uh, although uh, at least on the N64, it kind of sounds like so long, gay Bowser. And so they took it out of the 3DS, uh, uh, the the DS remake, entirely, because naturally they wouldn't want they wouldn't want people getting the wrong idea or whatever, you know. Is Bowser really gay? Who knows? Who cares? What does it matter? Let Bowser love who he wants to love. Is that? Oh my god. I'm confused. What did I just get? I just got an email from my internet provider saying I'm getting a, 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 an adjustment to my bill. Sporting event. <laughs> this is a good one. Many sporting events and broadcasts were put on hold last year from April to December due to the COVID-19 pandemic. We continue to work hard to recover the fees regional sports networks charged us during the hiatus, and this adjustment reflects additional credits to be given. So because my internet provider upcharges us for sports-related things, I don't pay for sports-related things, by the way. I don't really watch sports. So because they upcharged us for us, they're going to give us $20 back. All right. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, Comcast. Good to know that I'm paying for somebody else's sports. That's cool. I get it. It's a price adjustment thing. It's to be able to, I'm sure, sports networks charge not just an arm and a leg, but a couple of spare children's body parts, too, and organ sacrifices as well, to be able to put that content on your television. So to spread that out over every single customer just seems economic. I, I, I get that. I get that. It's just like, my big issue with stuff like that is I really wish, like, 
the there was transparency determined in like when you when you get a price quote i don't know why that price quote is the way that it is i want to know like what it is that i'm paying for and apparently knowing that i'm paying for somebody else's stuff i was like i don't got a problem with that because i think i'm the kind of person who like if we can at all enjoy some courtesies in life because everybody's pitching in i'm totally cool with that and i guess that also applies to sports now i don't watch the sports but if you really like watching your sports and me paying for my internet is helping with that i'm happy that you're happy Although, it'd be nice to know that. I mean, even even if on the bill, it, it said something like, like, here are all the things that we charge for, and also, like, like I don't know, 10% so that we actually make a profit on like that. I get that. Like, sometimes you gotta do that. You upcharge a little bit more to make sure that you're making a profit. Like, you're a business. You wanna make, you wanna make a profit there. There's, I don't think there's a need to argue with that. But, like, it'd be nice to know... Uh, no, I did not mean to click on that. Oh, did that actually work? Huh. That actually worked. But which one opens up... Which one opens up the do the thing? Pop. Alright. That's pretty cool. Um, but what about the next one? Ah! Bye-bye. Uh. <laughs> so I defeated them both, right? So I can open this up now? Oh, I could have just opened that up to begin with. Interesting. What if I open this up? So, I don't know. Do I press the lever or do I press the thing? Yeah, I don't know. I don't press the... Open. Open egg. Egg open. I got some high ether. Have I ever heard of the game Brutal Legend? I have not. But I'm going to write it down because I am now intrigued. Brutal. Brutal Legend. It's a legend that is brutal. I'm talking straight up like... This is a legend of things that are outright... Disturbing. Disturbingly brutal. I say, because I clicked the button and I guess a door opened somewhere. But no, I have not heard of it. Did my headphones just die? Nope, nope, just a little bit of audio delay. I know, like, so everyone, my headphones are a piece of shit. It's, it's, a. Uh, I don't know if you guys could have heard, heard that audio break that just happened there, but it kind of cut out for a moment for me at least, and that might have just been my headphones being all janky. Which they are quite janky. So Thunderchomp is gonna work around that. Do I like heavy metal? Old school, new school, all of it. I enjoy heavy metal. I, um, my, my father was a musician, and I grew up listening to heavy metal music being produced in the basement of my, my home growing up. So, I am a fan of heavy metal. I, I appreciate it. I'm like, in terms of how heavy, I'm not a big fan of screamo music, for instance. If, if like, it, I would consider that towards, like, the heavier side of things. I'm not a big fan of it, but there are some songs that are definitely under the screamo category that I, I absolutely vibe with. And I can't, I can't bring up any to mine. There is this one band. Um, I don't remember what the band's name is. But they do a song called Sarcasm. Which I am... I love that song. I love it. I love it very much. It goes like a... Um, oh my god. I get so, I get so shy on this show. I just, I, I, get, I get shy. And I don't remember, I don't remember words. Oh, is that what you mean? The, 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 that song goes like... Don't mind us, we'll just spill in our guts If this is love, I don't want to be loved You pollute the room with the crooked tongue Watch me choke it down so I can throw it up And like, and then it goes into a whole series like You can be the class and I can be the killer Something about this and now we're always screaming And like, that part I'm like, alright, this is this has a nice place in the song I appreciate that I like that part in the song However, oh, Chrono is dead Oh, Chrono's dead I gotta, I gotta fix that. Uh, well, the game is inspired by a genre of heavy metal. I am interested. Send the lick. Send it on over. Yeah. I'm into that. Out that like, is it like, what, what kind of game is it? I'm, I'm curious now. Is it like, a, like, I would think heavy metal would go great with a bullet hell, personally. I think it'd be great. Can I kiss myself? I can kiss myself. That's awesome. Good to know. Apparently, Isla over there can kiss herself. I see that link down there, and I have taken a picture of it so that I know for later. Let me go with, uh, I can probably, I can cleave now. Cleave? Cleave? Cleave, cleavy, cleavy, cleavies. Cleave him. Wow, I thought your defense was lowered by electric shock. What are you doing over there, huh, pal? What happened to that? It's a bit of a lie. Not good. I'm gonna admit that. They kind of had me in that first half. Not gonna lie. Trying to thunder chop up. They are just taking it. 
Oh, you know what? Chrono doesn't have a lot of magic resistance. That's why that's happening over there. Tons and tons of damage. I did not realize that damage was going to come before I decided Marley to heal herself, so that's pretty incredible. Chrono's gonna die. No, no, no. No, no, you did it again, and now you're dead, right? Ooh, you get me in all kinds of unsavory ways, my friend. But you're back. Let's cure you before they come and mess up your thing again. Thunder Chomp. At least on one of them, please. Action Adventure, uh, action adventure uh, a real-time strategy where the MC is Jack Black. Really? Oh, my God. The heavy metal guy. He's, he's like the, the heavy metal actor. Heavy, yeah, heavy metal actor. I loved, I loved what he did in, um, oh, what was the one? Uh, Tenacious D in The Pick of Destiny. Beautiful movie. Be beautiful, absolutely. Crazy names from the metal community as well. I wouldn't say that I'm like, I wouldn't say that I'm familiar with the metal community. Because I did mention I was kind of like raised in that environment where there was a lot of heavy metal stuff going on. But like, I only ever knew of one band, and that was kind of my father's, so like... But, like, I know a couple of other ones, too. He's doing some work nowadays that isn't... It's not really heavy metal anymore. It's kind of like, um... That glam... It's glam rock. Glam rock is the kind of stuff that he does now. It's hilarious. Like, when you think of glam rock, you think of, like... Kiss, for instance, with all the paint on their face. With the, with the tongue out, like... Ah, like that. He doesn't have his tongue out or anything like that. Or any face paint and stuff. But he's got these, like... These outfits that just have those, oh my god, it's got those frills on it. And it's just like, Dad, I am so proud of you up there. You you make me proud to have a father like you. And I, I am so, I, I, love, I love that. He plays for a band now called Angel, which was apparently very popular with at least one or two of my friend's fathers. Because that was like their thing when they were, they were younger. They would listen to that kind of music. School of Rock is a great one as well with Jack Black featuring all different forms of rock and whatnot. I think my favorite line from the School of Rock movie is, I have touched your kids, and I feel that they have touched me too. Or like, you're, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, 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 that was, that was weird. Take it back. Your kids have touched me, and I'm sure I've touched them as well. And all the parents are just like, you did fucking, fucking what to my kids? Like, touched you at the heart. Like, you touched the hearts of kids everywhere. Not like pedophilia. Come on, guys. Parents, don't be so... You, don't, don't be so... Uh... No, I'm just kidding. You should be concerned for your kids. Oh, hello, you. Hi, you. Alas, the final confrontation. It was a matter, a matter of time. Will it be your wee reptites who inherit the earth? Are you soft-skinned apes? It's the soft-skinned apes. Just saying, it's the future. We, we know what the future is already. Strong live. Weak die. Isla, just fight. Isla, no, nothing else but fight. So Isla will fight and fight good. So I guess it's fight time? I was not expecting to fight so early. Where was my save point? Oh. Hear that lovely voice? You'll soon be hearing more of it than you ever wish. Because it's not the person that I'm... It's, you're not fighting me. I'm, I'm weak. I'm weak. What's wrong with that? Boy, oh boy, I love it when I fall for that. I got the tri Triceratoraptor. What was it? Mid ether? What was that thing I just grabbed? Inventory. Uh, equipment. Is that something you can equip? Nope, not the fist. Nope. Uh, bandit's bow? No. Frago? No. You, you take it? What was it that I just grabbed? Inventory. It's probably one of the key items. Nope. No. Heaven's vest. Triceratopper. Oh, it's a helmet. Ah, <laughs> get it? Because it's the top of you. <laughs> you put it on your noggin. Is the Triceratopper better? It just does better defense. A little bit. Uh, I feel like somebody else could benefit more from that. No. How about you? Mm, yes. Yeah, you need that. You got the lowest defense out of everybody, so I'll let you take it. I'll let you have this one. You can take it. And, uh, I don't know. Is there not a save point somewhere? Can I go back and say I don't want to fight the enemies outside again. Let me at least heal everybody up. I feel like I used a lot of MP the last thing. Because, like, I don't know if there's a save point through the door or... Or what have you. Is there a save point? I mean, if I lose, what a... Oh, hello, you. You know what? I'm going to go back and save. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. 
I, I'm gonna do that. I feel like saving is the right thing to do right about now. Let's go outside and save that. Where are you? Where's my save point? There was a save point in here, I think. Uh, nope. It wasn't that one. No! Why would I do... Oh, goo. I hate these guys. I'm out of here. I can't... I can't escape! You won't let me escape, you ass nuggets! Jeez. If I need slash want a game recommendation, definitely a good one for finding some good games that will have you entertained. I will be asking. I do like game recommend. I mean, I mean, actually, so uh, I probably won't be asking anytime soon just because I have a shit ton of games in my Steam library that I, I, I shouldn't be asking for recommendations right now because if I ask for recommendations, that list of games that I need to play is only going to grow and no progress is going to be made on it. Marley is almost dead and I did not notice that. Interesting. Definitely gonna have to think about the next time I uh, make a decision stuff like this. Maybe if you kill off one of those dinosaurs, that'll be great. But like, if you ever have any like unsolicited recommendations that you just want to throw my way, like I will take it. I will listen, and I will probably just throw them on my wish list. If not, like pretty much any re recommendation that I get, I will always put it on my wish list so that I don't forget about it. Because I I will forget about it. I'm a very forgetful person if it's not like right in front of me. And so, if it's on, like, my- if it's a Steam game, like, if it's a Steam game, I'll put it on the wish list. If not, I'll just kind of, like, I'll, I'll sign up for, like, a newsletter for it so that I actually get emails about it. If I'm receiving an email about it all the time, usually implies that I haven't forgotten about it yet. Although, sometimes I just get disinterested. Like, there is this one newsletter that I subscribe to. It's called Morning Brew. I got really into Morning Brew because one of my, uh, co-workers, my mentor at my, uh, one of my previous jobs kind of got me into it he sent me a, an article from the newsletter and i was like wow this is really really cool like i want to i want to kind of look more into this and so i i subscribed to the newsletter and stuff and i used to read it every single day because like i was working a nine to five job and i'd go in in the morning and as i woke myself up i needed something to read as i had my morning coffee my coffee had to cool down then i needed to drink it i needed it to process and i needed a newsletter to read in the morning so i signed up for a bunch of newsletters I don't really do that anymore. That's not the type of, <coughs> excuse me, position that I have right now. So I don't really get up in the morning and read newsletters anymore. Although I should really like kind of focus a bit on kind of waking up at a, uh, a particular time in the morning and then kind of easing into the day. I wake up, I try to wake up rather early. I try to wake up at 8.15 every single morning. So far, at least this past week, I have not been doing that. I have not been waking up as early as I want to. And I want to wake up that early. And the reason why I do, I want to do that is because if I wake up early, of course I'm going to be tired. But then I have the, at least the first hour of the morning to kind of, you know, I shave my face. I take a nice shower. Maybe get a nice coffee. Maybe do a little bit like a... I know a Anna's not here right now, but like previously, like during last summer, we would do a little bit of yoga in the morning. That is incredible. If nobody's ever... If you've never done yoga, I would honestly... I mean, if, if you're the kind of person that can sit there and just kind of be with your your thoughts and your body for a few minutes, like, or like a half hour, like, I would most definitely say that, that is a wonderful, wonderful thing that you could do for yourself. And to me, it's a very, very nice way to kind of center myself. Um, that or I just do a little bit of meditation. And meditation to me is not I sit there in silence and put my fingers together and go, oh, Meditation to me is I've got music on the background, I'm sitting on the couch, and I am just vibing. Vibing to me is meditation, and it, it's a very, it's like, it's its freeing sometimes. I like that. That's a lot better than Astro last night, who was, didn't fall asleep until like 4.30 a.m. I think I was up till like 2 last night, so I get pretty, I get pretty damn close sometimes. What are you talking about, Red Star? Damnable Red Star! Fall, why don't you? Stay in the earth red. Okay. I bet that's lava that's coming from the sky, right? Even should I prove our fate to die, we will not relinquish the world to the likes of you. This black Tyranno will have the honor of wiping you filthy apes from existence forever. <laughs> wow, you were very, you were large and tyranno like Kind of get you, I guess. Do I go after you? I feel like I should go after Rosala. Psychokinesis! Really, you can... Wow, you can just... Oh, so you're gonna... You're not gonna just drop me off the edge? We are hundreds of feet off the ground, and you're just not gonna drop me off the edge with your psychokinesis? I'll admit, Azala, not very smart there. Definitely not smart. I would not... I would not see you the smart kind here. 
Meditation could also be like a nice like metal song and riding the wave. Exactly. That's exactly what I mean by like vibing. For me, at least in recent years, my my like vibe, my vibe music is lo-fi, which I I love. I love lo-fi music nowadays. I've been uh, very much into that. Ooh, nice counter there, Chrono. Uh, go after Azala. Get him out of here. He's the real enemy. And you can haste up uh, my friend over there. Isla. How much damage does that do? Hopefully a lot. 188. Defense is not being lowered by electricity, so that's not that's rather unfortunate. But maybe if I use the electricity on the horn guy. Summons fourth boulder. Nice boulder. You got any more rocks in there? I like boulders. You've eaten me. Oh my god. Total. Okay. If you killed him, you've absolutely killed him. That's incredible. Thanks for that. Really. Okay, well, um, Athenian water over here. And when you finally come back down, you can you can heal up Chrono. Wanna heal, heal up my Chrono? Stop it! I gotta do that to my buddy. Can we even do that? Chrono doesn't deserve that. Can you please pick Chrono? Thank you. Please? Can we can we Chrono? And then I don't know. Try to use an electric ability on there. See if that works for you. Stick that to your mouth. Oh, is it, what is it? So, something and suck it. Stick that in your whatever and suck it. That's not working. This electricity ain't working. What else would, though? Telepathy, sleep, and now Chrono's asleep. What about ice? Let's talk about icy freeze. And you heal by absorbing my teammates. You're incredible. Ice? Oh, that's a lot of damage to you. You are very much affected by ice. That's wonderful. Cure yourself. And then, I don't know, I'm gonna attack. Maybe he needs physical attacks, this guy. I mean, you don't, you look like a Tyrannosaurus covered in metal, so I thought maybe physical attacks ain't gonna work, but I could be very wrong about that. Physical attack? You doing all right? Oh, physical attacks work just fine. Well, do it again. Stop, guys. Five. Five? Five? Five is a number. W what about five? What are, you, what are you counting down for? Jeez. Use your ice ability. Four! Oh, they were, you're screaming at us. You are absolutely screaming. I'll use my drill kick. Your favorite insult to dish out is saying, eat a dick and a ball sack. Eat a dick and a ball sack, black Tyranno thing or whatever. You're not welcome here. Let's see. I'm trying to think of what my favorite is. Um, I don't know. I, I'm trying to remember the rest of the stick that in your X and suck it or something like that. Stick that in your soup and suck it. Stick that in your soup and slurp it. Like, something like that. I would I'd totally do. Alright, one more one more drill kick out of y'all. And then we're gonna aura whirl. So that we're all up to health for whatever the hell... Whatever it counts down to one is. That countdown. Whatever that is counting down towards. I don't look forward to it. One. But we're still waiting for zero, right? We're still waiting for zero, of course. Aura whirl. You can, you can cat it. Nope, zero. Savagely call the enemy. Well, that's fine, probably. Well, at least I'm healing everybody now, right? Lots of damage. Chrono has like no defense against that. Against that. That's not so good. Not very good at all. Hmm. Ah. Uh, liking that. That was very nice. This is something actually that my uh, that my friend Pepper bought for me yesterday. She brought it over as a little. Uh, we're all getting together and have a good time gift. Like that. That and the rye. The rye whiskey that's currently sitting up on top with the rest of the whiskeys. I have like, I got like an, I got a rye whiskey. I got a Kentucky bourbon. I've got a, uh, wow, Chrono needs to be healed. I got a, um, a Canadian whiskey up there. I used to have a, um, a Japanese whiskey as well, but that, I don't know what happened to that. Uh, I think I finished it. I think I put it in like a Manhattan. And that was the last of it. That was, that was it. Okay, you need to be healed. Summon fourth boulder. Please don't put it on top of Chrono. <laughs> don't do that. Actually, you could be you could be Tekken right now. I don't know. Lightning too. Just just do that. I I don't know. Lightning doesn't seem to be doing anything here, but I'm gonna try my best. My damnedest. Oh, that did a lot this time. All right, I have no idea what's going on there. There we go. Please don't hurt. Please don't hurt. Don't hurt my Chrono. You know, heal yourself. Kiss yourself. Kiss. 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 That's what we're all about here on this show. We're all about making people love each other. 
very much. You got marital problems? Come on on the show. We'll work out your marital problems. You like? You got problems with your cat? Feel like your cat don't love you? We'll work them out for you. Yeah? So we, we like to make sure everybody loves around here. Making love, not not war. I don't, war is a W, so it's it's like that. And you just you just ate my girl. You just ate my girl. But she's not dead yet. My girl ain't dead. You need to heal yourself right now. You should totally. Chrono is on the ground. <sighs> Damn you. Damn you, monster. How much health do you have? How much health? I don't even know how much damage I've done so far. This is incredible. How much? What if I attack you with the physical attacks? You look nice and soft. You, you, you take less damage than the other guy. What's up with that? Cat attack. Ice them both. Again. Ice them. They've done bad things against the family, so the family must. They must suffer. They must suffer. Sap, he says. Azala's wrath, sap. All right. Oh, you're done. <laughs> you didn't stand a chance, Azala. Now I just have to take care of whatever the hell you left behind. Uh, ice sword. I don't know. Maybe it works. Lowers the fence and begins storing power. Ice sword? Wait, really? Wait, really? Is that... That's a thing that happens? Whoa! I gotta do that again! Is that actually a thing? No, that definitely not. Oh, that's the... Are there different parts of it? No. Okay. I don't really know, honestly. I don't know. Thunder Chomp. Three. I don't even know what's going on here anymore. I just gotta feed the big old monster. I love how the, the biggest dinosaur of the land, at least from what I've seen so far, is wasted his time at the top of a tower. Like, you could be doing so much more with your life. Do you, can, do you consider the difference that you could make in this world? If you went out there and just, like, helped people erect buildings? Or maybe try to solve world hunger by getting the tallest bananas down from the trees that the tiny little humans suffer with. Like, you could be making great strides towards a better world. But what do you have? What do you have? Absolutely nothing. You don't have anything. You have no love for humanity. Only love for reptite kind. I mean, maybe, maybe this particular Tyrannosaurus is, like, the point of his existence is defense. But, like... What are you defending from all the way up here on the mountain? Are you defending from the big red star that's coming down from the sky, which is probably Lavos. I think they did imply at some point down the line that Lavos came from another, like, crash landed here on Earth. Like, a long time ago. You're gonna kill Marley, aren't you? You're gonna kill my Marley. You've killed my Marley. Let's use a high potion on you. We could use that. And then you can Athenian water over there. That was unfortunate. It's the little death. This little death of mine. I'm gonna climb. Uh, Thunder Chomp, do that. Don't hurt my girl. Don't hurt my girl, Marl. Don't hurt my girl, Marley. Sponsored by Marlboro Cigarettes. Put it in your mouth, and then promptly spit it back out. Shit's disgusting. Don't smoke, kids. Don't smoke. If you smoke, you'll go to hell. If you don't, if you smoke, you're gonna end up like this monster over here. You don't want to be like this monster over here. He's made bad decisions for his life. I have no MP. That's fine. We can... Ice Sword. We'll do that instead. Somehow I can do that. Thunder Chomp, I can't... Can I do that? Wait, if I do Thunder Chomp with a different... No, I don't, I don't know how that works. Are you out of MP? Oh, Isla's out of MP. Interesting. Nice. We're all on fire. Chrono is going to die. Maybe not die, but certainly suffer. You can't do it, because you've been doing all that stuff. Anyway, go get him. Oh, la, la, la. I'm going to wait a little bit. I don't think I need to use another ether. You know what? No, nah, I'm going to go with an ether. Everybody needs to heal. I'm going to do that. Everybody's got to do that. Let's take that. Take your ether. Ether! Ether! Eat that. Don't do that. Stop healing yourself. Dinner has finally come upon us. What do you have for dinner? I had a piece of white pizza. It was tasty. I liked it. So we got we got pizza the other night. We got one big pie for uh, Pepper and I. One big pie for Pepper and I. And then we also got a white pie that I think Pepper had a piece of. Uh, I I love white pizza. I just love the way that the cheeses taste on it. It had a lot of garlic on it. I am a big garlicky guy. I love me some garlic. Nothing more, apparently nothing more Italian than the man who likes his garlic. Apparently. Hey, we did it! We did it! I didn't need that ether. Actually, I did need that ether. That was, um, that was the last ether I needed. I could have used the small ether. The meat ether. But I had that, and I heated up one of the pieces of pizza just a moment ago. I'm the kind of guy, like, I should put it in the oven. 
You having pizza for Pizza Hut? Nice. We got our pizza from a local place up the road. Fairmount Pizza of the Kingdom of Spring Garden. Although, uh, apparently, apparently, Domino's is better. I disagree. I don't really like Domino's pizza that much. It's not compared to Fairmount Pizza. It's like, it's that level of shitty pizza that is just like, it's so shitty. It's good. And by it's so shitty, it means like there's so much grease all over it, and the cheese, and, and the sauce, and the bread. The Meat Lover's Pizza is like a greasy mess. I'm just like, I'm literally salivating just thinking about it. I love it. Anyway. No! It, it can't be! Could the heavens truly have sided with the apes? Listen, primates. And let it be known for all time, we reptites fought proudly to the bitter end. To the bitter end. I don't know, did you? You were kind of an asshole from what I know. Island, no. Isla, yes. Island, no. <gasps> Big red lights flashing us. What happens now? First, the great fiery stone will crash to the earth. Its flames will soon spread to scorch every corner of the land. Then the chill will begin to creep across the blackened plains, ushering in a long, cruel age of ice and snow. Ah, oh, shit, dog! This is when the meteor hit the earth. <laughs> a fitting end to our age, indeed. <laughs> I'm coughing because I'm dead. Lavos. What? It's Lavos. Domino's is pretty trash, but pretty sure the other places said is better. Pizza Hut, Fairmount, pretty damn good. The real question is, do I use ranch on my pizza or not? I don't think I've ever put ranch dressing on my pizza. Maybe once. I totally would. I totally would put ranch dressing on my pizza. I, I love ranch dressing. Very much so. I put ranch dressing on everything. I've started to diversify a bit with the types of dressings I use on like salads and stuff, but I would totally put ranch on pizza. I've put, I, oh, there's this one pizza place that's uh, over where the university was, where the university is, and they do, they do like, um, they do like, like a buffalo, buffalo ranch pizza or something like that, like chicken ranch or something like that, I don't really know, it's delicious, it's amazing, I love it, I love it. I am the people word, la, mean fire, vos, mean big. Big fire. La Vos. Oh, <laughs> that's the world big fire thing. Nice, nice, nice. I am missing out. Well, fine. When I eat my next pizza, I'm putting some ranch dressing on it. And I'm going to tell you how it was. That's what I'll do. La Vos being big fire. Ranch on pizza. It's on the list. It's on the list. I'm doing it. When I eat more pizza later. What time is it? 10.30? I'll eat pizza later. Isla! Who's screaming? Kino! Oh, I did not know who that was. <laughs> Quick, take the dactyl and fly off the planet, I guess? Run or something. Mm. Hurry! Lavos fall soon! Oh, you're saying lava is because it's big fire. So the big fire is falling soon. Oh, that's incredible. Kino, hurry! Or don't. Kino, Isla, what? What you do? Come, Azala, come! Get Azala on plane! No, this is the will of the earth. I have to let myself die. You stupid bitch, get on the dactyl. Isla! Hurry! All right, come on. Azala. Isla, not forget. Take. Take? What take? Take care of this world. Also, don't forget the Ligma. Uh, Azala. Ligma. What Ligma? Ligma. Balls. <laughs> cough, cough, I'm dead. Wow, look at that. And we somehow outran that. Picks next time where it didn't happen, I'll post them in the Discord. You'll find pics of the pizza with the ranch later in the night. Either either later on tonight or tomorrow. Whenever I get to ranch on pizza, that's either going to be a tonight thing, like a second dinner, or like breakfast on Saturday type thing. We'll see. So this is the day! This is the day Lavos Falls! Oh, okay, I hear that. 
So, Lavos fell to the earth in this era. And we escaped? Or something? I, I don't know. What are those tiny little blue things? Lavos, huge! Chrono, fight that? Oh, I guess we explained it all to Isla, didn't we? Chrono, we go place Lavos fall. Oh, really? Why? Why would you do that? He just arrived here. We might still be able to do something. Let's go see. But this isn't the day of Lavos. So this is the Lavos crater, huh? Terrano Lair Ruins. Fitting that it's all in a volcano, too? Oh, shit, you might as well. Can I use a... Can I use the shelters out here in the overworld? I can. Cool. That's necessary. That feels like it's necessary. I'll take that. All right. What else we got? Uh, Dactyl! Give me Dactyl! Give me Dactyl or give me death! Oh, look, a gate. There's a gate. Yes, there is. But no lavas to be found, it looks like. Lava's fast. Deep under earth now. This gate was opened by Lavos. He's probably the source of all the gates. What a conjecture. I wish I heard it from the science girl, but I guess I gotta believe you. What wrong, Chrono? Want fight Lavos? Go here. No? N no. You don't fight Lavos here. You fight... Excuse me. Lavos later on. <laughs> Get into the gate! We'll see what comes next. Oh, we go... Oh, we go into the gate. And I guess we go underground, I guess. This is exciting. You're right. And terrifying. And if we're at the center of the earth, then it's probably really hot. And our heads would implode. I guess. Where are we? Small kit. Oh. Oh, we're in 12,000 BC now, years in the future after the Ice Age occurs. Nice. That's pretty cool. Nice. Now it's all cold and frozoned. It's cool. <laughs> I feel I feel like I feel physical pain every single time I make a pun. Every time I make a bad joke, I feel like I'm in pain in some way, shape, or form. Like I know it's all in here, but technically isn't all pain all up in here. I'd say that I'm proud of myself, but if if like, if the fact weren't that people were, like, totally, like, dying because of comments like that. Like, people die because of puns. You know? That moment where you're, you're like, hi, hey, dad, I'm hungry. And he's like, hi, hungry, I'm dad. Like, somebody's dying out there. It's the exact same moment. It's got nothing to do with the pun, but I'm just saying. When a pun occurs, somebody's probably dying. Just, just saying. 12,000, wait a minute, what year am I in? 12,000 AC? No, it's just 12,000 BC. There's lights? Skyway? Whoa. Ancient Egyptian technology. Whoa, where are we going? Hey, whoa, now what's the... Whoa, 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 whoa. Where did I... Why, well, hello? Nope, didn't mean to go back down. All right, I did a thing. I'd like to go back, please. May I go back? I'd like to go back. Maybe I'm upon the tallest mountain now. Or deep in the earth. But if I was deep in the earth, then why was I going upward? All right, apparently in the year 12,000 BC, there's sky worlds of all these. Oh, look at you all. Look at you all. And you decided to come back to Earth? What's, what's wrong with you? Maybe there is an, uh, this world. That's cool. What are you doing, buddy? You bouncing around? This is the magic kingdom of zeal where dreams can be made a reality. But nothing in this world comes free. There's always a price to be paid. Thanks, buddy. I wish I knew. Oh, where'd you go? Oh, you disappeared. Oh, oh, my God. Bro didn't consent to a gyp style elevator. I, I didn't even know about that. That was just, that was like total my surprise. Oh my God, shit's on fire. So I open up the book and it sets on, oh, it must be a, must be a flaming tomb. Hey buddy, what can you tell me about things? Welcome to Enhasa, the city of dreams. We seek enlightenment within the bliss of sleep. Hmm, you are not of us, are you? I'm not, but I can make things on fire. I mean, I can't, but like, my, my time girl over here can. What about you? 
They're most unusual video visitors. I'm awaking. Am I waking? Or is this but a continuation of my dream? Regardless of that, I welcome you to Zeal. Your Her Majesty, Queen Zeal, use this magic kingdom. She is without peer in beauty or grace. Magic she lacks in, but that's what our, her royal subjects are for. We make her look beautiful at the cost of the lives of tiny children. You were wondering why you didn't see children, did you? It's the source of all youth and innocence. Innocence brings beauty, don't you know? And if we take that innocence, we remove it from the child, and then we put it into our queen, she is beautiful forever. Probably, maybe. We owe our prosperity to Her Majesty the Queen. After the king died, she encouraged the development of our kingdom's magical prowess, which has led to great advancements. <laughs> anyway, uh, magic or something. Um, yes. Magical, magical, bah! What's in this bookshelf? Can I scan the bookshelf? Not in the bookshelf. Hey, buddy! What are you doing? The world you see with eyes may well differ completely from the one I see with mine. I'm like a bee. I can see ultraviolet light, but you don't have a word for ultraviolet yet. It's 12,000 BC. Who gives a crap? There are as many different worlds as there are observers. Never assume that they're the only things which you can see or touch or real. Like ghosts. Or are you just disappearing into the world? Uh... Truth exists in dreams. The world exists in me. I think therefore I am. How can worlds be? How can things be real? For how can mirrors be real? For ours aren't real. Am I telling you right, man? Yeah. <laughs> she didn't question why you're here. Just kind of goes with it. It was just like you know what? You're not one of us. But like, ah, I guess you're a part of us now. Like I don't know. We don't usually get visitors from the surface world. That's kind of all icy and whatnot now. Like, but you know, the city of Kajar. The high seat of magical research lies on the edge of the western continent. The airship, the Blackbird, is maintained there as well. I like to think that everybody in this place, if they're sleeping with the intent for magical prowess, is like snoring incredibly loud. Boy says, Ellipses. What a weird kid. What's wrong with him? <laughs> His innocence has been taken from him. For the, for the beauty of the queen. What wrong? That animal for eat? Taste good? Ellipses. Alright, bye. It's like a prehistoric cat, I guess? The black winds howl. They howl at night. One among you will shortly perish. Oh! How daunting! What? What? What's that supposed to mean? Mock question? Bye, boy! Chrono. That was kind of creepy. Uh, Marley, yeah, it was. But you wouldn't hear it from me, I'm too prideful. Strange boy, but not bad boy. Lacking innocence for some reason, not sure why. <laughs> Leading people of not caring, because that's that's just not their, it's not their jobs. It's just a bunch of people just like, visitors from the surface, long dead, millions of years. Eh, whatever. I don't get paid to concern myself with that. I wonder what this is within the Northern Shrine. No doubt the key to unlock its seal is held at the palace, but entry there is strictly forbidden in the name of Her Majesty the Queen. The Queen, the Queen, the Queen, I say. Oh, wow, that's magical. Like, like, icy ability, maybe? The Queen's palace sits at the heart of the kingdom. She watches all over all the world from its high vantage point. It's because of that we can sleep our days away in peace. <sighs> that was an authentic yawn. I could tell because my eyes are about to tear. Oh, goodness. This is a font of recovery. Rest your wearied mind and body within, Traveler. I like to think she says exactly that. But, like, oh, that's just a thing. It just happens. I'm all, well, I'm just already healed, so I guess. That's cool. Alrighty, then. Can I go? This is a wall. That is indeed a wall. You about to get a magic upgrade, you think? I certainly hope I get a magic upgrade. Well, what's up, bro? I am Doreen. Seek the hidden path and open the doors of knowledge, each in turn. Okay, bye. Thanks, Doreen. The queen has sealed away the great elemental weapons and armors, forged with the power of the sun in the shrine to the north. You can see its entrance on the northern continent, but no one is allowed inside it now. All right, so that's... That's up continent floating in the sky with the diamond on it all right she seems like she's gonna like totally take advantage of me in my sleep 
I don't know about that. Go ahead, West your weary mind. And then while you're sleeping, I'm gonna sniff and see what you smell like. What do you smell like? I hope you smell nice. I bet you smell like magic. Do you smell like magic? I've never smelled anything but magic. Maybe you smell like normalcy. I've always wanted to know what normalcy smells like. At least that's that's the impression I'm getting, of course. The door to the... Oh, who am I talking to? The door to the Northern Shrine is sealed by a powerful force. Even we, the enlightened ones, lack the means to open it. All right. I dig that. You got, you got goods for me? I've got services. You got goods. Welcome. Have you come to do business? Yes. Price is still not even inflated in 65 million years. Incredible. I love this place. I don't think I need potions anymore. Potions to me are not really, they're not really worth it. So I'll just buy as many mid potions as I can. Uh, maybe not so many mid potions. It's actually a lot of G. Uh, what else you got? Athenian water. Oh, this is just the regular stuff. I don't need more shelters. I can buy ethers here. Oh, nice. I don't need that though. Not right now. I don't need any high potion. You know what? Maybe a, a high potion or two. That's that's fine, I guess. More Athenian water. Could use some more of that. Let's go with uh, 14 Athenian waters. Is there one more character I can get? I see that there's a space for one more character right there. I wonder. So, like, if I just open up all these books, right? If I open up every single... Oh, that, that book closed. And this book closed as well. Well, there's nobody else for me to talk to here. Unless, did I talk to you? Truth is because in dreams that exist with me... All the world, all your base are belong to me, you know, that stuff. Oh, you're back here again. This is the magic kingdom of zeal, where dreams can be made a reality. Oh, okay, you're just, you're just kind of going on that again. All right, then, pal. I, you know what? I believe you, Dorian, but nothing in this world comes to me. I always surprised to be paid. Bye-bye. It was like a quick exchange. You ever watch Full Metal Alchemist? Have you never watched Full Metal Alchemist? Watch Full Metal Alchemist. It's good. It's one of our favorites here in the land of Anahasa. Whatever. This is the land bridge. Oh, a sky bridge and land bridge, I guess. This is the land bridge again. Can I go? Do I go back down? Oh, there's another one. Look at that. Uh, all right. But why do I want to be down? Oh, maybe this is another island completely. Probably. Is there more to explore? No, not really. That's... Oh, nope. There's another one. I can go to the other skyway. I just go up and down a bunch. This is a really... I feel like this is a very energy inefficient way to get around. Like, this could be so done so much more efficiently, I feel. But, I mean, that's... Whatever, it's not my job. <laughs> whatever, I don't need it. <laughs> that girl back there is just like, Yeah, you get a big... Go get a big rest there, you big boy. You go get a nice big rest. <gasps> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. And Chrono's just like... Yo, can you, like not get so frisky with me like i've got like three girls on my team and i'm already trying to pull off the harem vibe like let's chill bro i don't need more hey good to see you in the city of kajar is there these things i can open up these look like things i can open up that cannot be opened up what's up with you this is the magic city of kajar we put on research in the magical arts to help further her majesty's plans deliver our kingdom even greater glory greater glory being Bringing it back down to the earth. We don't really know how to do that. We really want to go. We want to go higher up in the sky. I'm talking stratosphere, baby. Your power differs from ours. It's difficult to describe, but in a sen in, in you, I sense a strange kindness. As opposed to a malevolently deep-rooted in my heart. All magic here is evil. All my magic is kindness. In ancient times, people crafted wondrous weapons and armor by combining shards of a rainbow-colored shell with the sunstone's power. Hey, the Masamune, that's what that is. That's one of those weapons. But now only the guru of life knows the art of crafting such things, and even if all of us did, the queen has ordered us to abandon the use of the sun's power. We don't need it. Ah, such beautiful contentment there is in a newly blossomed bud. Would that be, would that, would that, I could be a flower. With that, I could be a flower. What bud has blossomed for you? You're the same lady as before. I'll show you your buds blossoming. Like, uh, could we not, please? What's this book do? All right, ice and stuff. That's the Sun Temple, which you see on the southern sky, high on the Sunstone, which our primary source of power was enshrined there. Now, I don't know. Where do you get your power from now? However, the temple was sealed up along with the North of Sri once we turned here. Uh, new energy source. The queen claimed we'd need it for the energy of the tired old sun. Oh, well, I guess it's down there, then. 
No, really, man. Chrono looks like pussy flax to him. He likes Sasuke. He just don't care. He just doesn't add to his mission. Chrono's just like, yeah, whatever. I, uh, I did, I did, I did whack it. He's the kind of guy who, like, he gets it. He totally gets it, but he doesn't like to talk about it. He's just like, yeah, I, I did, like, I had the thing. I, d I did the thing with the lady. It's... It was awesome, and it was a really, really nice experience, but we really didn't want to talk about it. I, I'm not the kind of guy to kiss and tell. What tempest must rage in young Lord Janus's head? <laughs> Janus! His only friend, other than his sister, is that a, a cat that follows him about. Oh, the boy's name is Janus? It's probably Janus, or Janus, or Janus. But, uh, I will now forever refer to that boy as Janus. We've been seeing a great deal of young Lord Janus lately. Before he scarcely showed his face, but now he paces around quite often, always looking so upset. You know what that kid's all about. Smoking weed all the time with his cat. Most definitely. Her Majesty Zeal has two children, Lady Scala, 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 Lady Scala, and young Lord Janus. We don't know why she named her that. It was an executive decision by the entire Knights of the Round Table, but we wouldn't complain about it. Lady Skull is an incredible child with extraordinary magical powers. With such a gift, her life must be all ease and luxury. About that young Janus, though, he's, um... He's a weird one. He plays a lot of Magic the Gathering. We don't play a lot of Magic. Like, the card game. There's no actual magic in it. It's unfortunate. How is that we came to have the powers we do? Oh, what a simple question. Lots and lots of inbreeding. Why do some possess the gifts and others lack it? Again, lots and lots of inbreeding. But that's a bit of a conundrum. Oh, what's that? You're from the th year 2000 where incest is totally frowned upon? What's wrong with you guys? Incest is the best. <laughs> must be an old, must be a new head thing. Such kids in these fads. <laughs> My, you've got an unusual aura. You don't partake in incest, do you? I can see it all over your face. You must possess the gift too. Chrono's just sitting there like, why is everything so sexual in this town? I don't get it. Chrono's got like 10 girls on his dick and they'll tell you that you're the one that actually matters. Like, you matter. You're the one who matters. I'm a sensitive guy. Chrono, Chrono that is. That was me voicing for Chrono. I would, I would never do such things. I mean, I, you, you're important. You're in a special way. Man. Primitive thoughts compared to ours. Primitive, you bastard. Oh, look, it's one of those big blue guys. I've seen them before. What are you tinkering over here? Those lacking magic, magic are known as the earthbound ones. They don't inbreed like the rest of us. They've always lived beneath the clouds. Earthbound? Oh, earthbound. Like, like I want to play earthbound so badly. The actual game. Consumption! Actually, I didn't finish my beer yet. I'll finish my beer. I've been meaning to move into the cocktail for the night, and I never actually got there yet. It was two hours in. Why did I make everything sexual in this town? I don't know. Sky people. Sky are high all the time. They're probably all thinking it. They're all thinking it. Everybody's thinking it. We know what they're thinking. It's only fitting. After all, they lack our talents. <laughs> the talents to be able to look our family members dead in the eyes as we engage in coitus. And Chrono's just sitting there like... Marley's sitting there like... I don't know how to interpret this. Isla's just like... Coitus. What be that word? <laughs> And the Chrono's just like, you don't want to know. You don't want to know, bro. <laughs> I'm not even going to tell you. So, like, what's up with all this magic, yeah? I don't know. What was this creature down here for? What do you got for me, buddy? Oh, uh, shit's on fire. All right. Can I talk to you? Okay, he doesn't speak. <laughs> I don't think he speaks. Oh, you sell shit here, too. <laughs> I like to think this guy only just, he just, it, like, these people can understand, like, the, gi the giggles and gurbles of this guy, but he talks just like... <laughs> The Pratham armor too, but, but I need mean, to use permission to sell it. What a guy! And then he sits back there. He's just like, <sighs> gotta breathe again. Gotta breathe. Gotta breathe. Gotta breathe through my mouth. Breathe my mouth open. <sighs> breathe. Just crazy creatures. Cause everyone, everybody here in this world, low key, mega horny bitch. I mean, they're all, they're all in readings, and they all want a piece of that. Chrono trigger like you think chrono trigger is about like triggering time travel no 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 that's just what he causes chrono's just like no chrono the chrono trigger you want to ride on the chrono trigger i'm sorry sir what does that mean that's just that's just what i i call i, I call my my thing i call it, it it's called the chrono trigger please don't please don't judge please do not judge me 
I, I grew up like this. The structure you can see can the structure you can see deep beneath the waves below is the ocean palace, a symbol of our queen's greatness. The palace is the beacon of light, which will guide us to a brighter future. All praise the great and wonderful queen's eel. Thanks, dude. <laughs> the earthbound one. The earthbound ones are being allowed to work on the construction of the ocean palace. It seems even they have their purpose. I love people. You guys are just like, yo, you were born on the earth. <laughs> Fucking heathens. There are a bunch of people cheering outside. Can y'all hear that? A bunch of people wooing outside. Nice. What do you got? The construction of the ocean palace is falling behind schedule. I have an everlasting palace beneath the waves. It'll be a sight to see when it's finished. Very good. Behold! That out the window is the great blackbird. But by Balthasar, the guru of reason. To see it soar across the sky, you'd think it alive. The guru is a genius. I'll show you, genius. <laughs> I will not show you, genius. I'll show you this Chrono Trigger! I heard Lady Scala's powers far surpass those of her mother. Then there's their brother, your lord, Janus. He's of royal blood as well, of course, but that doesn't seem to have the faintest trace of magical ability. It's probably latent. He has to hit puberty first. He's <laughs> Somebody's just like, boy's gotta pop his cherry first. Then the magic will flow through him. He'll know. He'll feel it. The gurus of life, time, and reason dwell in zeal. Their knowledge and skill is without equal. Zeal's progress stems from our new energy stores. Its power of far surpasses that of the sun's elemental energy. Something that surpasses the power of the sun? Unleash the power of the sun, Sunny D? You don't run your towns on Sunny D anymore? Oh. I've been working to fashion a capsule that will enhance one's magical skill. But my precious products have been disappearing in recent days. It must be that naughty new that took them. They do so love pranks. It's no doubt hidden at all I'm all about. How can I work like this? I can't. That's a trick question. I can't work like this! Silly new. Magic's for... L magic for inbreds. <laughs> Silly earthbound. Magic for the inbreds. <laughs> I heard a strange prophet has come to the palace. <laughs> a total stun from what I'm hearing. I don't know the details, but I heard his powers are most uncanny. Like... <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> oh my god, what about you? Do you have words for me? Do you have words for me? Speak to me, giant blue blueberry monster! Blueberry monster, you got anything? I don't know. What do you have? <laughs> A guru once told me that the sunstone once held all the nearly infinite energy of the sun. Over time, that energy was slowly depleted and turned into the lightless moonstone. Have I ever watched Dragon Ball Sea Bridge? I absolutely have. That's super copy, super copy guru to you. May I, do I have your permission? Super copy guru? Super copy guru approves. I love that. I love Dragon Ball Z Bridge. I need to watch it a second time. I've only ever watched it once, but that is a... That's one of those things... That's one of those series that has had jokes being made of it in reference in my friend group for years now. Ever since high school ended. That's definitely trash? What's definitely trash? What are you talking about? What is trash? I am not trash! And if I'm trash, I'm your trash, lady. Know you this, Traveler? The moonstone could be restored to a glorious sunstone if it left to bask in the sun's warm light. But such would require eons. None of us will ever witness that gorgeous glow again. But if we travel to the future, right? Hear me out. We go back in time, leave the sunstone at the bottom, and then come back 65 million years later, and it gets all the power again. How about that? I know it's crazy. You're like, time travel? Blasphemy. But I have a feeling. I have a feeling. It'll work. Hey, fuck you, Guru. Think you're so high and mighty. <clears throat> what about you? Speak to me? Water summons wind. Wind. Make fire dance. Thank you for that astute insight, Blueberry Man number three. Or perhaps that's number two. <laughs> guru, what a pretentious prick. Why do they call him the Guru? Is he skilled at something? Nice. 
just an asshole. He just, he just, he says he's better than everybody else, fails all the exams, and then spits on children. Like, the ones who are not innocent anymore. Like, haven't they been ha taken enough of? Jeez, what a prick. Look at the blackbird! Blackbird! Um... Do, 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 do. What was it? Blackbird singing in the dead of night! That's the one, right? Take these broken wings and learn to fly! All your life, you were only waiting for this moment to be free. I haven't heard listened to that song in a while. I don't remember how it goes. Why are you here? All is well with the blackbird, I presume? Maybe? I guess? Oh, who are you? She is fully operational, Lord Dalton! Of course she is, you blundering idiot! Where is she not? We'd all be troubled. You, what are you doing here? Who are you? Who are you? What kind of kingdom? Hmm, those clothes. Oh my god, you must be the ones the prophet said would come to interfere. Oh, it is I. I think I shall watch for the time being and see how he plays his hand, like a game of cards. But there are no cards. Why would you use cards? We don't play Magic the Gathering around here. That shit's fake as fuck. <laughs> Not that I suspect he'll tip his cards so easily. Ah! Oh. Nobody fucks with the white mage. <laughs> I'm walking away now, pretentiously. <laughs> I'm having a great time with this. I, I, I like this town. I like Skytown so far. Skytown is one of my favorite areas, I think. So, so where do I go from here? I gotta go somewhere? I can't go down there. I must have to go into the caves. Should I go into the caves? I feel like I should go to the cave. You know, before I go to the cave, I feel like... I feel like it's cocktail time. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna enter the cave and see. Small cave? Anything? Oh, can I go up? Whoa! Look at that! Oh, okay. Oh, there's no enemies in here. Okay, I just go up here. I guess what is it? I'm gonna have the same thing. Another small cave to climb my way up. Exactly the same, if not congruent to the last small cave. Wow. It's a lot of small caves. Ooh. My voice is getting unusually tired. I think Azala really got me. Oh, I was also like, I'm really congested right now. I do not know why. Whatever. How are you? Enter the Queen's Palace, in the center of the Magic Kingdom of Zeal. Which is to say, this is the center of the universe. Oh, now that's pretentious. All right, pal. I'll I'll let you have it. You can you can have it this one time. Beings that are born of dreams must always return to them in the end. But at times, people's dreams and prayers call upon the power of Lavos and are made reality. Do you guys worship Lavos? Oh man. Oh, are you in for a rude awakening? I wonder how the Yulu of life is doing. What are we supposed to do without him? Humans, I'll tell you. Oh? I want to be the Wind Master. Can I be the Wind Master? Oh, you will someday if you try hard enough. Wait. Oh my god! Yo, wait a minute! That's Masa and Mune! They'll be the winds! They said, like, we will be the wind one day, and they became the wind. They are... The sword that I have is... is in two pieces, Masa... Uh, the, the, the sword is Masa and Mune combined together, and they are the wind. That is so cool. This is Masa and Mune. This is, like, an unevolved version. Or rather, this is them, here in 12,000 BC. As opposed to them being, I think it was 1600 AC? That is so cool! Our big sister Doreen went to Enhaza again. Damn. Yeah, she likes to dream. Dude's up there doing the freaking Harlem Shake, right? These guys are just rocking it. I like the wind better than dreams. Oosh! You freak the hell out of me, but I'll let you have it. You, you can you can take this. Oh, can I go this way? I can hang with the plants. Lovely. I'm not sure what I gained for that. Big boy! Oh. Itchy. You <sighs> Scratch my back? Yeah, dude, sure, I'll scratch your back. Oh, wonderful. Mm. Oh. oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, ah! Oh, phew, thank you, thank you so much for scratching my back. I discovered the news scratching spot. Oh, are they called news? Jesus Christ. 
I like to imagine this being played throughout the whole entire castle now. It just makes things 100% more enjoyable. This whole, this whole music here, right? I can't believe I just scratched your back, bro. Can I, like... I can just go right past you, I guess. Thank you. Yeah, like, everyone's just sitting here listening to that, like, high-pitched pedal tone. Like, we are all slowly going insane. That watering prophet is amazing. Every prophecy to escape his lips has come to pass. What a guy. It's as though he already knows the events to come. Unnerving, is it not? Very unnerving, as if he's from the future. Heal me. My with streets closed, you must be travelers from far. Use the fall to recovery if you'd like to recuperate from your long journey. No thanks. I'm not gonna sleep on the job. Don't leave me touched while I'm asleep or anything. Do you like plants, Traveler? Yes, I like plants. Oh. Oh, I like plants too. But the Queen ordered me to burn this tiny sapling I received from the Guru of Life. I wanted to take this plant upon me, but I don't think I'll be able to. He said it was a special tree with powers to restore the earth. Now we can't have that now, would we? Wouldn't want the not so inbreds to be restoring the earth or anything like that. Oh, what shall I do? You should grow it in secret. You're right. Queen's orders, though they may be. It wouldn't do to burn a gift from the goo of life. Very well, then. I'll take care of it somewhere safe and secret. Someday, it just may help. Some else who loves... Excuse me. The earth and trees. It's called marijuana. Cannabis, if you will. It's dank as fuck. Thanks, lady. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. The source of energy rests deep below the sea. Once its exact location was determined, we began constructing the ocean palace there. Cool. I didn't believe there was an ocean. The portal to the ocean palace is in Her Majesty's audience chamber. Mind you, it has been, hasn't been completed yet. Thank you. La -de -da -de -da -de -da. What about you? Even Balthazar, who designed the Black Burr, the Ocean Palace, has vanished. A strange that the three ghouls who guided Zeal with present glory have all disappeared at once. They say that Gaspar, the guru of time, continues his work on some deserted island. He strives to make a time egg, or some such nonsense, but no one has seen him for years. I have a strange feeling the time egg is the is Marley's amulet. I got a feeling. Hello, New. <gasps> oh, Jesus, there's fucking God, Christ and all. How am I? This way, ladies and gentlemen, the mammon and the machine chamber. Thanks, buddy. Mammon? The prophecy's order is clouded with hatred and sorrow. If he does not free himself of these emotions, he'll destroy himself and those he loves along with him. Unfortunate indeed. What about you? Beyond lies the mammon machine chamber. You can feel the glorious energy of lava surging from it. Oh, you're using lavas for power. Dangerous. Mammon machine, you came to see it. Yes. I thought as much. Can you feel the flow of the mighty lavas' power? Oh, it brings tears to my eyes. The idea that you... Oh, my lord. This is the font of Zeal's power. The mammon machine. It draws and magnifies the limited, limitless power of lavas. If the Mammon Machine is moved to the Ocean Palace, we can extract even more energy from Lavos. The dream of eternal life will be made more possible. Oh, Almighty Queen, our kingdom will reign for all eternity. You? When the Mammon Machine was finished, the Queen became a different person almost overnight. A much colder one. Just between us, I heard that anyone who opposes Her Majesty and not just the Earthbound ones vanish. They're never heard from again. Melchior. Guru of Life opposed the Queen's plans and destroyed appeared shortly after. It pains me to consider some conspiracy may be at work, but it's a terrible, terribly suspicious. I feel this whole machine looks pretty terribly suspicious. You ask me, is that is the wall? Are the walls red because like they're painted that way, or are they like they like blood? Because it feels it feels very bloody. The three gods constructed the mammon machine from a reddish stone that had been kept in the royal treasuries for some generations. Stone of lavas. Lavas. Big red stone? Red stone. You heard of it? You know, whoever holds the red stone is the chief. You know? That's what uh, that's what Islet told me, and I am the chief. 
Guru of Life Melchior was it? Wait a minute, Guru of Life. Wait, it's fucking Melchior? Wait a minute. I know that guy. He's still alive? Freaking Melchior. Was in charge of the plans and conducted a great deal of research on the nature of lavas, but now, well, I'm sure you know the rest. Oh my god. Operating the mammoth machine requires magic powerful enough to regulate the energy the machine exerts. Accepting the gurus, Lady Scala is the only one with such power. You know what? I, I just noticed another consumption come up there. And, uh, I don't have anything left in this thing over here. I got water, so I will consume that, because... Water is good. But I feel... I feel... I feel a cocktail coming on. Before I touch the stone, I feel a cocktail coming on. That's what I feel. You feel pretty upset with the world if you've lived as long as these people can. Fuck it! Melchior, if that's the same Melchior I'm thinking of, he has been on this earth for over 14,000 years. What a guy. Anyway, I'm going to attempt to make Mathel cocktail. I need a surface to put the cocktail on. Or I'll, I'll wind up changing my camera around. One moment while I find a better place to put some things down here. It's actually, it's not really, it's not really important. I'll just, I'll just do it from here. Anyway, it's cocktail time, maybe. It's cocktail time, cause I wanna make a cocktail. I'm gonna add that there so I know where to put this in later. <laughs> Uh, I was baking some cocktails over the week, over the past couple days and whatnot, so uh, I've decided to make one for myself today. It's been a while since I have made a cocktail on stream, and I feel like now is the time to do it. I was looking through my black, my little black book here, and I found something that uses grape juice. Now, my fiance Anna bought grapefruit, uh, grape juice a little while ago, and she was like, maybe you can use this one of your cocktails. And I don't have, I, I couldn't find any cocktails that actually used grape juice and not like wine because wine juice is like it's like fermented grape juice so like that would obviously be the better choice to make but this one is the main brace you use a gin triple sec and grape juice you're into cocktails take notes if you want to the only thing that i'm gonna need to do real quick because i don't have that pre uh pre prepared is the ice from my freezer so i'll be back in a hot moment i'm just gonna grab ice from the freezer Freezer time! Need some ice! There's no ice in here. What the hell? Why am I out of ice? Time to get more ice. Here we go. Ice time, baby. Yeah! There's a cube, and, and there's another cube. A cube, and another cube. There we go. Cube time, baby. Cube time. Anyway, ice goes back in there. Bring my shaker back. Ah, oh, goodness. I feel like if you live that long, you turn into pink guy and just end up either being super kind to everybody or just like a major prankster god. I feel like if I were around for that long, I'd have a good time like the first, like, it's like I'd have a good time for like the first like 100 years and then, oh, I need my, I need my measuring thing. For like the first 100 years and then maybe sometimes afterwards, I wind up like dipping into that depressive slump. Like if y'all have ever watched uh, Full Metal Alchemist, one of the one of the characters has lived for a very very long time, and he's basically in this like point of depression and stuff. And like I feel like I get past that point and just be like, you know what? Whatever. I'm living forever, so I might as well have fun with it. That's what I would do. Okay. So the main brace, uh, main as in main entrance brace, is in like I need a knee brace because my my ligaments are failing me is made with three ingredients and that is one and a half ounces of gin of your choice i will be using blue coat gin with that let's see that let me put that in my glass one and a half ounces into my shaky 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 pour that on camera as best as i possibly can i don't have the bar set up right now my apologies otherwise i would be having it over there but it was so much work for probably just one cocktail gin in my shaker. Oh, I got some of my gin on the floor. It's okay. It's alcohol. It'll it'll dry up. There's not much sugar in there to make things messy. Next, three fourths of an ounce of triple sec. I'm not sure why they call it triple sec, but I'm sure it's better than the double. The double and the triple. Three quarters of an ounce of that. If this looks, by the way, slightly comical because it is a very very large bottle and I am a seemingly small man, it is comical. In my glass. It's kind of dripping. <laughs> the, the, the gin that I spin is kind of kind of dripping on me. And then, la 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 la, an ounce of grape juice, which I have. Welch's. I'm gonna give that a shake. I don't know. I feel like I feel like the grape juice is just better when shaken. Oh, it's all bubbly now. Too bubbly. A bubbly, bubbly shake. Pour that in my little jigger over here. Measure out an ounce as close as I can. I'll bring my shaker up here, and then pop that bad boy inside. It's. Basically, the flavors being combined here are 
botanical, grape, and orange. A little bit of grapefruit left, uh, grape juice left over in there. Sit over there. There's a party going on out there. I can I can hear a lot of music out there. Look at that. I'll put everything back over here. Cap off my gin. While I do that, I'll shake this off as well. I clean up my little area over here and I uh, give that a shake. Can we? Can we shake that? I think we can shake that. I think that's shake it. It's hard to do some complex hand motions all at the same time. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Put everything back over here. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. I'm going to strain that into my glass. I don't think that requires any ice at all. I wonder what it would taste like if I used wine instead. Probably a lot different. Grape juice is like... Grape juice is very, very sweet. It's got a lot of sugar into it. And depending on the wine, it might not be as sweet as that. Uh, honestly, it's probably not going to be as sweet. But it really, it really depends on what kind of wine you use. Some wines are a little sour. Um, I think I, I've had some Chardonnays that are rather sour. I, I'm not really in a sour. Sour is not really, sour is not really my drink. Uh, I don't really like sour things, but I, I get to it. I like a nice whiskey sour. I was dangerously enjoying a whiskey sour the other day. Anyway, consume the main brace. It smells very, it smells like grape. Uh, it smells mostly like grape juice and I'm getting the triple second there, but honestly, there's, I, I smell the gin. I can kind of smell it all. I like that. It's very, uh, it's very strong. I, I really taste the triple second there. It's very orange and grape is not a flavor. There's not flavors that I'm used to together. And so you've got that citrus from the orange, which comes out very forthright. And then like, if you've ever, if you've ever had Welch's grapefruit juice, or grape juice, I keep calling it grapefruit juice, grape juice, there's always like, there's a flavor that kind of sticks around in the back in your mouth. And I get that. That's what happens after the fact. It's very first triple secchi, and then the back is that, and then it's undertoned by the gin underneath. I can't pick out any of the botanicals. My palate is not that refined. However, you smell it and you get, you get gin. And honestly, I can kind of get the gin notes in there. It's a like, uh, I don't know what a juniper berry tastes like or anything, but I guess it's junipery, I suppose. I think blue coat's a rather juniper, but I'm not really sure. Do I like it? I do. I think it was good for, uh, good one. Cheers, everyone. Clink. That even worked. Was that, how's that look through the camera? <laughs> now, whoa, okay. That spooked the hell out of me. Uh, pressure built up inside of the shaker and the thing popped up. That was hilarious. All right, all right, all right. It's back to game time. It's back to game time. Back to Chrono. Time to touch a really red stone. Time to touch a big old red stone. I think the reason I haven't made cocktails on stream in a while, I've been streaming a lot in the morning, and I just don't feel cocktaily in the morning. Just doesn't doesn't feel right. Something about a cocktail before 10 a.m. Not into it. Can I not touch this red stone? I can't touch the red stone? Oh, come on! That was gonna be the big buildup! No. Alright. Fine. I'll go find Melchior. I love how y'all were just blocking my entrance only for me to find another way around. Like, what's up with you guys? The queen must have borne a great deal of pain and sorrow in silence. Progress requires equal sacrifice. Much must have been given to allow Zeal to attain the glory it knows now. What about you, new? This way we'll take you to the bed chambers. Lord. Here we go. Oh, hello. Oh, nobody's sleeping in the bed? Good. How are you doing? Lady Scala's pendant was made from the same red stone as the Mammon Machine. What did she breeze to the device that the pendant glows with an unearthly light? You're creepy. I'm leaving. I'm gonna go to the next room with somebody less creepy, I hope. Scala. Oh, Janus. You've returned. Is something wrong? The Black Winds. You feel the foreboding too. Don't worry, it'll be all right. Here, keep this close. It's my hand. Take it. What is it? 
It's an amulet containing my prayers. If something should happen, it will keep you safe. I wish that I could remain with you always, but Mother has other plans. That's not her mother. She looks like her, but she's not the same inside. She's cold, old, disgusting. Janus, how do you speak of my that way? Even still, forgive me, Janus. Pardon, Your Highness. Oh, hi. The Queen requests your immediate presence at the Ocean Palace. Very well. Bye bye. Well then, Janus, I must be on my way. Don't, uh, don't hurt yourself. Oh, well, who might you be? Forgive me, my lady, but we must hurry. If we're late, I fear we'll all, we'll all be, uh, well, you know, the, the queen. I fear I'll be, well, you know, the queen. What? The queen. Of course, my apologies. My sincerest of apologies. I'll just talk to the boy then. So your name is Janus, huh? Go away. Go away. Go away. Get out of my sight. Okay, kid. Jesus. Wow. wow. He's extreme. Uh, la, 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 la. Is the queen up here? Maybe the queen's up here. Hey, new. What do we got? Okay. This lady leads to the queen's audience chamber. What about you? Listen to me. The earth is alive and always has been. She changes slowly, so, she ne so you never see it. From flatlands into mountains, from mountains into seas. A way may someday open even to the forbidden shrine of the north or the sun temple, but it could take on 20 years. But what we'll waits? We're not initiators around here. We'll just wait for something to happen. We'll let the world take care of it for us. A special door. With the amulet. Yo. I bet. This is the era where I learn how to open those fancy dancy things. Excuse me. Her Majesty said she had business at the Ocean Palace. Not my passage on her return. Your pendant looks identical to Lady Scala's. I, I heard that when Lady Scala communes with the mana machine, her pendant glows with a strange light. Because it has to do with time, and the time is it, it's all connected. Right? That door cannot be opened from the outside, save with a mag powerful magic key like Lady Scala's pendant. Your pendant, it looks identical. <laughs> Let's open the door then, with the power of togetherness. Hmm, won't budge. Strange, why no move? Maybe I need to imbue it with the power of the red stone? Like they just told me to? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to Mammoth Machine, get out of the way. I'm gonna touch it with my pendant, with my jewelry. You're really not supposed to keep jewelry around electronics, but we're going to have it this time. Let's see what happens. I raise it up to collect and absorb Lavos' power. And I did. I raised it up. Raised it up real good. Like that. I love to see it happen. Love to see it happen. So now can I open your door? Get on your floor. We can all walk the dinosaur. Maybe. So what do we got? We did. Yeah, we did. We did. Papa. I let go. No, be scared, Chrono. All right. I won't be scared then. Fine. I won't let it happen. Okay. It's a potent one. I like it, though. Ooh, the grape. That grape is nice in there. I've never had a cocktail with grape juice in it. That's delightful. Yeah, what, do I want, what voice do I want to give the queen? Queen of the land. So let's see, she's cold. She's cold hearted a little bit. She, uh, she's, she's kind of been cold and distant ever since whatever happened. So, uh, what do you get? Who are you? How did you get here? Your majesty, these are the rigors of despair of whom I speak, whom I spoke. Indeed, they and the gurus alike. How dare you, outlanders? Attempt to oppose me. I'm the mighty queen. Bitch! I'm the mighty queen. And none shall fool me. Fools! Fools! One and all! Bitch! Dalton sees them. Please, take, take him away from here. Yes, your majesty! With pleasure! I will take them away with my beautifully toned arms. Gollum? Just kidding. I'm gonna get one of my guys. Oh? Oh, just kidding. I'm gonna let one of my guys take care of it. You let that loose in the house of your queen? 
What is the matter with you all? Iron Sphere halves HP. Uh, well, that's not very pleasant for anybody. Jesus. You killed her! Why'd you kill? Well, that certainly didn't work. You killed Marley. Incredible. I have a feeling I'm supposed to kill. I'm supposed to die. That actually worked. Copy's light tech? Are you kidding me? You gotta be kidding me. Please don't die. How did you just kill Marley so badly? Ass. That was incredible. Copy's physical attack. This is... Wow, that's potent. Iron Sphere has HP. Incredible. Absolutely wonderful. Never seen anything like it. Uh, why are you over there now? Please don't. No, you killed Chrono. You killed Chrono, you bastards! Why would you kill him like that? He's so mean. Oh, there's a bug on the thing. Oh my god. Please heal my boy. Heal my boy! Why would you kill my girl? Stop killing my boys and girls! They're nice people, I promise. Do I have lightning ability? Yeah. Uh, cleave you. Cleave, cleave, cleave even two. Oh my god. Now you're copying physical attack. I hate you. I hate you. What? Oh my god. Why? I bring everybody back to life. I don't... Can I defeat this thing? I don't know. I feel like I, I can. I feel like I have to. I'm surviving. It's not super overpowered. It just... He's dead. Yeah, it's not good. It's not very good. Not very good at all. Nope, fire attack to you. Now you're gonna die, and then I'm gonna use a potion on you. Nope, on you? Heal yourself, my girl. Gee whiz, wow. You just keep on going, don't you? Yep. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, man. Maybe I'm not supposed to come here yet. This is like the only place I can go. Oh, man. Not fun. Oh, God. This is, this is no good. It halves my HP and deals over, then deals over 400 damage. That's incredible. And then does that attack. And that just, it just kills. Just kills. I don't know. Uh, ice. Ice, ice baby. I can't, I can't keep my guys alive. I don't think I can do it. Yep, you're dead. Ah, uh, I had to die. <laughs> if you're not, I won't kill you. Not immediately, that is. I'll allow you to sample every type of pain, fear, imaginable first. By the time we're through, you'll be back on us to end your suffering. Ah, what a delicious diversion. <laughs> and now we're inside the mammoth machine? We're inside the mammoth machine! Well, damn, what's going on there? You just trap us there? That's pretty, that's pretty nasty. It's not very nice at all. That's not nice at all. Ugh. Hmm. Oh, wait, this is the kid. <laughs> Idiots. What will you do, Scala? Let us help them. I don't think it'll be of any use. You'll be in trouble if you let them escape. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. And they just might be able to rescue Melchior. Melchior, my friend. He's, he's, he's funny. I like Melchior. He's a funny, funny guy. Melchior's a very, very funny guy. I like that guy. I like that guy very much. Melchior's good. Melchior's very good. Well, you are right. Quickly, you must flee the palace. And if you can, please, free the guru of life. His name's Melchior. Chrono's eyes are just like, Melchior? I love that guy. He was sent to the mountain of woe for opposing my mother's plan. Please, you must help him. He's a wonderful guy. My mother's an asshole. I'm afraid I cannot allow that. Who is it? Oh, it's the prophet. Your meddling tires me. It seems I'll need to put an end to you here. No, you mustn't. I won't let you. <gasps> Exclamation. Don't do it. I'll do it. Cat says meow. <laughs> Very well. I'll spare the lies. But in return, you'll cooperate with me, Scala. Now, show me how it is you came here. Here's this little pendant I got. I'll show you the time warp. We're all doing the time warp again. Hmm, so you came through here. Into the time realm. 
Now, Thara, once I throw you in, you'll seal the portal shut. N no! You, you can't make me! You will obey me. Their lives are at stake. Like a nice, medium rare steak. Not well done like you like it. Very well then. We'll have it. I'll let you have it. I'll let you have it this one last time. Do you like it? I like it. I like it very good. Very good. Very good. Crow trigger. Yes, yeah, it's a portal then. Oh, you so you sent us away. Oh, okay. We jumped into the portal and then Scala did that. So now I gotta go talk to Melchior. Please forgive me. I forgive you very well. Can I finally get I, I need Panther Girl over here needs some magic. Oh, I'm just heading back here. Alright then. Why did the prophets let us go? They take Lavos power. Lavos get weak? Wait a minute. The design from the door that the pendant opened. I've seen it in other places. Specifically, the future. Th thank you for outlining that. I, I did I did remember. Oh, these are guys from... They look like... Oh, they look like people from 12,000 BC. A curious crest is engraved here. And a... Engraved? And a mysterious force seals it shut. Classy. I have seen that. All right, let's check it out, Chrono. Let's. Where's my dactyl? Give me my dactyl, give me my dactyl. We're going on a dactyl ride. Flying through the skies to get where we need to be, only to get back to a proper time. Bah, back on the surface. Back to the Mystic Mountains, where I ignore these fluffy guys and then move a little farther forward. And then... I don't want to get messed up by any dinosaurs or anything. I don't really like dinosaurs that much. And dinosaurs come on up here. I mean, dinosaurs are really, really cool. But, like, when they're all up in your grill and they're like... They're like... Nah, 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 nah. I'm like, no, please, dinosaur, please don't. Jump down. Only if you jump, too. Only if you jump first. Heading back to the sands of time. I like that. Let's let's teach. Uh, I need to teach. Uh, what's her face over here? Uh, magical powers. So, uh, man, you are mighty as hell now. Specchia, hey there, sweetheart. Unfortunately, you were born before magic existed, so casting spells is right out. But if it's any consolation, you seem to have plenty of other assets. <laughs> Specchia, my God, you horny bastard. <laughs> what do you want? Are you looking for some practice? No. Oh, so I guess you can't you can't use magic. You're just a physical physical attack. Physical attacker. Interesting. All right, that's cool. Well, now I know that. Everybody did. Filled myself up at the the thing. I, I do not need your sword. No thanks, Fraga. The annual blaze goes to rust, you know. Oh well, thanks for making me feel bad about it. I just don't like you, man. HP and MP restored. I mean, who I would prefer to have is my buddy Roy over here, because I like that. Yeah, I got Robo Boy. What's up, old man? I am not old. I am forever. I am both young and old at the same time. Oh, let's see. What time do I want to end this? I want to see, let's see. I want to find Melchior and see where that goes. And then after that, I'll probably be done this evening. But where will I find him? Truce Canyon, 600 AD. Uh, was it over there? No. Uh, what else? What else was there? Medina Village 1000. Uh, yeah, Medina Village. I think that's where I want to go to. Da -da 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 -da. Hello, little ones. Don't mind me. I'm just breaking and entering into your house once again, as I always do. It's just kind of what we do around here. It's just kind of what we do in a place at a time like this. Uh, you, Melchior's place. Oh, Melchior! Hey, buddy. Oh, a sword can be used as a soul for ending lives, or soon as one for saving them. It all depends on the one who wields it. Be sure to wield yours for the proper reason. Would you like to buy something? No, I don't know. I want to talk to you about the future. I mean, I guess the past, I suppose. Um, Can I look around your workshop? Oh, okay. 
I guess it wants me to go to the future first. I, I understand that. Okay, so not talking to Melchior just yet. But I will head to the future. And I will open up that fancy fancy crest in the door. But actually, what I'm going to do first is I want to see if I can open up those mysterious uh, boxes. And to do that, I'm going to go back to the main time on the other side. That could be cool. I want to see if I can open this. That'd be, that'd be pretty freaking cool. I would appreciate that. Let's see, is it over here? Uh, Lean Square 1000. Yep, that's the one. That is indeed the one. That is indeed the one, 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 one. Such a pleasant town. I wish there were festivities going on here. You know, speaking of which, I actually went to a couple of, a, a bit of a festivity the other day. Philadelphia had a flower show and I was at the flower show and it was a lovely, lovely time. I don't know, something about being able to take in the sights and sounds of various different forms of wildlife, whether it be flowers or plants or the many different displays that they have. It was just, it was absolutely beautiful. I took a ton of pictures too of of the uh, the flower show. It was beautiful. And my camera went, I didn't realize that my, the, the camera on this phone of mine, the Google Pixel 4a gets like really, really close. It can get really, really close and it focuses super well. So I was get up, I was able to get like really up close and personal with some of these flowers to the point where I even like stuck my nose in some of them because like I like the way flowers smell dude love smelling some flowers sometimes you just gotta stop and smell the roses you know I don't want to fight you but I'm gonna fight you <sighs> you sadden me so I'm gonna use I'm gonna I don't think y'all need much so I'm just gonna kill you all with the power of lightning pow go forth Die. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage. I like that. Da 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 I'm gonna get past the mushrooms. Thank you for letting me pass the mushrooms without having to engage in combat with them. I can't go that way. Well, I know there's at least one of those boxes up in the tower. Over here in the, in the Guardia Castle. Soldier, it's the terrorists. Oh, I forgot. I'm a terrorist in this time period. Never mind. Bye-bye. <laughs> I had completely forgotten about that, that I'm a terrorist in this time period. All right, well, that's how it be sometimes, I guess. Sometimes it just be like that sometimes. You know, fighting for freedom and everyone just like, you're terrorists. You're like, I was fighting for freedom, but thanks. I think, not the market. I think it's the mayor's house. The mayor's manor has one of these boxes in it, I think. If I go upstairs, maybe? Maybe, maybe, maybe? No, it wasn't this house. One of these houses has that fancy, fancy box. And I don't know which one it was. Was it my house? No, I don't think so. The inn? Oh, you know? Maybe the inn. Maybe it was the inn. I also noticed there's a treasure chest behind there. I can't... Can I open that up from behind? I cannot. Oh, poo. Was there perhaps... Yes, right here. This box has been handed down for generations. Should you somehow manage to open it, you're welcome to the contents. The blue power activates, and now I can open it, right? Obtain the blue vest. Yes, okay. Now I can open up those containers. Awesome. Uh, what can I use the blue vest for? Who, who gets good with the blue vest? I guess blue vest. As opposed to ruby, we get blue. Nope, defense absorbs water damage. Ah, oh, that's good. That'll help me later on if I ever fight an enemy that does water damage. Not that I would be able to tell, but like, all right. Um, I, I'm pretty sure some of the other residences had it as well. I'm not gonna like, I'm not gonna try to break my back about it. Try to go out and find all the ones now. I think it's worth it right now. I'll stumble across them eventually. So I will go to the future. I will open that door. I'll see what's on the other side. We'll, we'll see how much farther I take it from there. My head's getting a little. <laughs> my head's getting tired. I uh, I gotta get myself. I gotta get myself a nice night of rest at some point. I, I I've been going to bed very very late, waking up rather early. Not really helping. Not really helping the psyche, you know. I right, was it over here. Mystic Mountains. No. I wanna go. Was it here? Protodome, 2300 AD. Yes, Protodome, 2300 AD is exactly where I'm at. Perfect, 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 perfect. Like that. All right, let's boogie. Let's boogie. So I'm over here, and I gotta go to the Protodome. 
That's where I have to go. I have to go back to the Proto Dome. This is where I found a uh, Robo Dude. Roy! Back to the Proto Dome. Not over here. I need to go back across this area over here. So, like, do I just walk? Yeah, I guess I'll walk. They made it seem like it was a much greater distance. Actually, let me see the map. Yeah, I need to be down there. Um, how do I get down there, though? It wasn't in that building. Yeah, I gotta go back this way. Site 32, I race, get in the car, get in the car. So do I have to beat you to get the other side now? I don't really want to, I don't want to really want to beat you, but... Stop it, stop, enough. I had enough hard time with you the first time. I just kind of race with this guy. Yet. We got him in front. No! It seems like it's longer than last time, actually. I don't know. I just kind of rotate around and around and around. Until I get to the front. And then eventually, we succeed. I gotta get in front. I'll bop him. Yes! No! It was... Yeah! <laughs> I beat you, you little twerp. I don't know if I need to succeed to get to the other side or not. Uh, I needed to do that the first time. Like, if I didn't win, I wouldn't be able to get to the other side of the highway. I don't know if I do this every single time. If I have to do this every single time, I'd be very annoyed. At least we get a nice little fanfare. I like fanfare. Oh. Turned on the volume. <laughs> you beat me. I don't get it. Well, you can come challenge me again anytime. We'll ride the wind, baby. All right, pal. Bye, bud. I like you, though. You're cool. In this desolate wasteland, you are the pinnacle of cool. I think if I go the abandoned sewers, I can find my way down. I can find my way to the other area. I can skip on over here. I click the switch. I can just skip on over, right? Yeah. Skip this way and I take the elevator. Can I take elevator? Elevator? I go up. Can I go up? I cannot go up. I gotta go elsewhere. Hi, kitty. Meow. I'm not, I'm not messing with you. I think I remember if I mess with the kitty. Get the claws. Oh, I got the claws anyways. Unfortunate. It's okay. How's it going? It's going lovely over here. It's going gracious. We're, we're fighting. We're fighting water demons. Fighting water demons. Melchior is apparently some prophet that's existed for over 14,000 years. I'm cool with that. He knows nothing about it, and I'm sure he doesn't really care. But we've gone back to the future to open up doors that were previously unavailable to us. So, uh, progress, progress, and, and cocktail. Cocktail good. Cocktail very good. Ginny. Very ginny. I don't want to touch the cheese. I don't want the cheese. I have an important question from Thank, I guess. Taco or burritos? Burritos. I'm a burritos kind of guy. I will admit it. What about him? Is he tacos or burritos? Is he currently talking about that on stream? By the way, shout out to my buddy, my future brother-in-law, Thank I guess, who is also currently streaming right now, I believe. We'll be heading there after this party is over. Show some support for the little guys. It's always important to keep the, the, the little guys. He's tacos? Man. Excuse me. I feel like there was an important discussion to be had. Excuse me. I feel like there was a very, a very important discussion to be had. Excuse me. Jeez. My body. I'll go down this way. That's not where I want to be. Oh, this is where I was before. Oh, la la la. I need to be... Where do I need to be? Oh, notice. Circle around and press the switch. <laughs> I thought I did that. We learned that hot dogs could be tacos. Really? Really? Hot dogs could be tacos? I believe that. I mean, what if you put a hot dog inside of a taco shell? Like, would it... I suppose it would still be a taco, or... I mean, it's supposed to be a combination of both. I mean, what makes the hot dog? Is it is it the dog that makes the hot dog? Or is it the buns that come around it? Because I've eaten hot dogs in, like, just regular pieces of bread. Oh, look at you guys. Nice. I'm gonna lighten you all again. And then they become sandwiches. But what is a sandwich, per se? What is this distinction between, like, a sandwich or, like, a taco? A taco is not a sandwich, I guess. Because, I mean, it does have a bread form on either side, but it's crunchy. It's just not what I would conventionally think a taco to be, you know? I just, I don't know. Is sandwich a taco? Is taco a sandwich? 
I'm curious about that. Hot dogs can be a sandwich? I totally believe that. I dig that. I dig that bunch. Okay, now I'm over here. Perfect. I need to be in this dome. Keeper's dome. Hello, you. Can I new? You're new. No. The final instruction sequence of the wise one programmed into me was for his burial. Now I can join him into his eternal rest. But, but first. Hmm, I'm certain there was one more task I was ordered to complete. Something about the seats. Ellipses. Memory error. I forget. So you're like an automaton from the past. Or that was, you're an automaton for the future to me to be reminiscent of the one from the past. The pendant begins to glow, and the door opens! Cool. I'll get to the next save point in here, and that's where I'll send it. Unless the save point is right around the corner, but I don't think it is. What is this? You who have opened the door. I am Balthasar, the guru of reason, and formerly of the... Okay. <clears throat> Balthasar, guru of reason. Here we go. I am Balthazar, the guru of reason, and formerly of the kingdom of zeal. I was cast into this era by a great disaster which befell our land. Much to my surprise, I've learned that the creature Lavos was not a product of, an, of our age. Far from it. It seems that the being fell from the sky at a bygone age, varying deep in the planet's core. There he began to feed upon its energy, growing ever stronger. Lavos' form was revealed briefly when he was summoned forth by a mighty wizard by the name of Marcus in the year 600. In the year 1999, the year that my younger brother was born, Lavos emerged to claim the sauce. Now he's taken the place I've named Death Peak as his throne, throne or nest. As it may well be, his miniature spawn now flew from the mountaintop, an avalanche of death. Lavos is a parasite. A parasite of gargantuan proportions whose host is the planet itself. Trapped here, I endeavor to continue my study and observation of lavas, but I believe the end draws near. Maintaining one's sanity is an endeavor in and of itself, and in an age such as this, an endeavor I feel may be futile. So before my mind is lost forever, I have decided to leave these records of my knowledge behind, along with my greatest invention. The Snuggie is my greatest invention. Ever did I long to return home and to toil endlessly in search of a way, but as I neared the completion of my research, I so did the end of my days. I have grown old and frail, and so I leave it in your hands. You, who have opened the way, take hold the reins of time and let all the people of this planet's past and future join as one. Then, only then, you just may be able to stop Lavos. You have little chance of success, but even a little chance is still a chance. You have, who have opened the door, the fate of the world is in your hands. Not just because you're the protagonist of the famous game Chrono Trigger, starring Chrono and his trigger. Open now the final door and claim what awaits you, my last greatest work, the wings of time. Ooh, wings of time! Penny begins to glow. Door opens. Getting on the floor. Let's go. Oh, yo! The wings of time is a freaking spaceship! This must be the invention mentioned in his recordings, the wings of time. Oh. What? This thing? Do I have Isla with me? I thought I switched you out. Oh, I guess not. All right. Well, I guess I'll get inside. I'll get inside the big ship. Can I get in the big ship? Get in the big ship? Get in the big ship. Get in the big ship. Can I Can I switch, swap out my party? I feel like Luca would have a field day with this. Can I, can I do anything with it? I want to get in the ship. Can I get in the ship? Oh, I really want to get in the ship. But it won't let me. All right, I'm gonna go out. Oh, no, okay, okay, and the door is closed. Uh, New is trapping us in. Bro, what's up with that, bro? Oh, he's, he's pushing out the... Oh, it's the... It's so I can get up into the ship. It's the little... It's the rail ramp. Scared you. Didn't, didn't I? It's me. Oh, it's... It's me. 
Balthazar, I copied my memory into this thing. What do you think? Precious, isn't he? Anyway, there is something I need to explain, namely how to transcend time. Press X to display the time gauge, then select the error you wish to visit. Ah, yes. Time to sleep. And, and then, wakes you up? Uh, before you go, why don't you give a name to my time machine? Epoch? I love it. Epoch. The time machine epoch. Well then, hop aboard. Thank you, Balthazar. I thought Melchior was the... Uh, whatever. Instructions for the time machine are as follows. Display time gauge for the X. Use the up and down bi-directional buttons to select a destination in time. Board, disembark, or activate time warp. End of message. Can I get, like, I need to get in the... Oh, I just kind of come from behind. Up we go. Nice. Mumble, 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 mumble. Yeah, I'll go. Oh. So, oh, whoops. I, uh, I clicked the B button. Yeah, I want to take off. End of time. Cataclysm is 1999. The present day, Middle Ages. Antiquity. Prehistory. Nice. Um, well, I have a time machine now. I want to see what happens when I go to the end of time. Yeah, let's do it. Zoom to the end of time. We're going to the end of time. Oh my god, you look so happy. Chrono looks so happy to get in the time machine. He's just like, time machine? Yeah, time machine. I'm gonna do time machine. Yeah. That's incredible. I, I love this. I really do. This this game has such a, has such a pleasure to it. And it's such a splendor to it. I love this. And I guess that's just the thing we have, right? Traveling through the time. Unbelievable energy readings. It is as if the total mental energy mental energy of all humans who ever lived were being amplified. International travel at warp speed. The epic is capable of this? Yes. Yes, it is. The final invention of the year 2600 or whatever. So now I'm here. I guess I'll get off, right? Ah, that's that. Hey! Hey, what's up with you, old man? I'm gonna talk to you and... Well, then we'll see you next time. What's up, old man? Interesting. So, he managed to complete... He compl actually completed his wings of time. And at the cost of his own life, no less. Why not put those wings to good use and pay a visit to the ancient magic kingdom? Come and see me whenever you have the need. Think of me as your guide on time's road. I... We'll eventually go back to the ancient magical kingdom of Zeal, because I suppose that that's probably what they mean in the days of antiquity. But I will save that for next time. Thank you, everybody, so much for enjoying for uh, joining me on this lovely, lovely adventure through time in the lands of Chrono Trigger. I'm glad that I was able to kind of get past that crash thing uh, before, well, things started a little bit ago. But uh, I'm glad for it. We had some good times. We found some fancy, fancy folks in the land of antiquity, who are apparently all horny as all hell. To be continued next time when we go back to the land of the inbreeders, maybe? Cheers to you all. I say that, but not without, of course, starting our march onto the next party. I see Muscle Thank, I guess, playing Brawlhalla over there, and I've heard he's talking politics. Burrito? Taco? What's the difference? I have no idea, but we shall see. To all the raiders who are heading off and saying hello to my future brother-in-law, I thank you and peace off to all of you. Have fun with that. And as you go and do your raids and spread the love of the party to the, all the reaches of the earth, to everybody else following along at home, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, morning, sunrise, sunset, twilight, twi dark, dust, dawn, whatever it may have it. Party on until next time, my friends. Peace out.